I'm Yoshi Lomax, superstar attorney at law and fugitive. So, you're the famous Yoshi Lomax. Probably more infamous. I'm on the run from the federal government for crimes that I didn't commit. Gentlemen, I'm Deputy U.S. Marshal Sharon Starr. I'll be taking things from here. Not to mention being on the hit list of at least three of Miami's major crime bosses. I wanted to apologize in person for leaving so abruptly last night. Welcome back. That's Vladimir Kuznetsov, a Russian crime boss. He's been a suspect in over a dozen missing person cases. I mean, I didn't get here to be this successful for doing things the American way. I need a list of the jury for my case with Hanju. Oh, really? What's that worth to you? Oh, my God, you're such oh, a... Sh- Mr. Santana is to be released upon processing. So what do you know about Sheldon Chisholm? What do you want to know about him? I really need to know if you're going to take my case. I don't have time to play, Miss Lomax. Money is not a problem. You know anything about his case? It's being handled by agents in my field office. I've learned that in this game of life, in order to win, ready to dance, you gotta play dirty. You might look at me and see a beautiful, confident, successful woman. Congratulations, counselor. Yet another win. But underneath, I'm flawed. I'm broken. And I'm scared. So I have no choice but to run until I can find a way to clear my name. Miss Lomax is now considered a fugitive of the United States. Catching fugitives is my business, which makes her my suspect. You and your associates are relieved. Look. She killed one of our own. But I will not give up. All right, people, listen up. Get a picture of Miss Lomax out there so the public knows what she looks like. I will not give in. Okay. People, we got a game plan. Let's break and execute. I will not get caught. Time to go hunt. Talk with the director on Dollhouse Real Radio. Talk. All I'm offering is the truth. Nothing more. And nothing less. What's up? Everybody, thank you for joining us again for another edition of Real Talk with the director of the Jedi Council. I'm the director. We'll be with you for the next 120 minutes or so. And Real Talk is brought to you each and every Monday by Dollhouse Radio and Day Morrell. We broadcast live via the World Wide Web on blogtalkradio.com, also youtube.com, also facebook.com, also Twitter via Periscope. So thanks again for joining us. Um, yeah, man, it's obviously Monday because this is when we do it. Uh, today is, what, the 7th? Yeah. Boy, time is flying. December 7th. And we are coming to a close of 2020. 2020 has been eventful, to say the least. I'm just going to say that. 
Um, and with that being said, one of the main things we're going to be talking about today is um, one of the main things we're going to be talking about today is another yet another big shakeup in 2020. And that is with uh, Warner Brothers announcing that they are releasing all 17 of their films, all 17 of their films uh, via HBO Max. So that should be very interesting, to say the least. A lot of people are up in arms, and, you know, we we actually just some late breaking news with um, – Christopher Nolan, you know, who's made Warner Brothers a lot of money. Um, and uh, he's he's definitely upset. <laughs> read, read something, just read something about maybe 20 minutes ago about that. Um, now, we talked about this plenty of times on the show. So this is no surprise to us. Um it was just a matter of who's going to do it first. Now we know that Universal had kind of started with the, you know, they put the the film. Uh, what was it like? Uh, I forget the name of the film, but um, and then that was done. Then the Scooby Doo, and there was a couple of them that was done. Then Disney follows suit and does it on Disney Plus for an extra fee, thirty dollars extra with Mulan, which it actually did pretty decent for the. You know, better than I thought it would do. And um, I thought that was a little high for Mulan. But um, so that happened. Now, the deal with HBO Max or, you know, AT&T after they, you know, took over Warner and the whole thing with HBO Max. So the first thing we heard was the Wonder Woman. The new Wonder Woman movie was going to going to appear on HBO for a limited time uh, on Christmas Day, starting Christmas. I think it's on, I think it's supposed to play for like 30 days and then that's it. But it's also simultaneously going to release in the theater. So, um, you know, so that was that. Everybody's like, all right, cool. We finally get to see Wonder Woman, right? Uh, but then <laughs> Warner Brothers dropped the bomb and was like, yo, you know what? We doing all the movies that way. And people were like, what? So, naturally, people are excited, people are upset, people are butthurt. <laughs> I mean, that's just the way it is. So, you're going to have a little bit of everything with that. So, we'll see how how it turns out. But tonight, we have a good uh, special guest uh, on our panel tonight, uh, Mr. Perez, Mr. AJ Perez. He's He has been in the business for a long time and, and and he knows the distribution and home entertainment business and I, I really wanted to get his opinion on this so he was gracious enough to to join us tonight so I'll be bringing him in in a, in a moment um I want to get his expert opinion on his professional opinion on what this what what does this move mean for the rest of well we we know the theaters are suffering we knew they were going to suffer anyway the theater is, is, you know, there's, there's there's an article out that I'll go into detail in a moment, but where it talks about the article actually read the head the headline of the article says AMC starts urgent dialogue with Warner Brothers over its plan to put out its 2021 movies on HBO Max. So AMC is starting what they call urgent dialogue with them. Um. I don't know what that urgent dialogue is going to do because they've already announced they're going to do it. They're already planning on doing it. So I don't think they're going to change their minds, but um, we'll see how that works out. Uh, also, like I said before, Christopher Nolan has uh, the headline for that says Christopher Nolan blasts Warner Brothers over HBO Max deal. So, hey, man, this is going to be an interesting show to say the least. We're going to dedicate the first hour of the show to all of that stuff before we get back to, uh, we'll do part two of our, um, our movie verses with uh, Denzel Washington versus Tom Hanks. Now, Tom Hanks, because these two have such a vast library, we usually do 20 movies, 
but their library of really good stuff is so vast, we had to do 40 movies. So I broke it up into two parts. And um, as of right now, from the first 20 movies, Tom Hanks is leading 12 to 8 over Denzel Washington going into the championship rounds. So we'll see how that turns out as well. That'll be later on in the show. Um, and yeah, man, and, and I want to get your opinions out there in the chat room. What do y'all think? Do you, are you excited to see, uh, you know, HBO Max? Did you all go out and subscribe to HBO Max yet? You know, which I really want to actually point out. HBO Max is pretty dope, man. I didn't realize it was that good. <laughs> like I, I looked, I, I had it, I, I had it for a while, but I'm like, let me just look at it. And and that's funny, right? You got so many streaming services, you. You buy them and you pay them for me. You don't know, really watch them. So I'm like, let me just look at it. So I'm looking. I'm like, oh man, this is pretty cool. Because I'm getting ready for the, you know, that the Sopranos prequel movie. So I'm like, yo, I need to go binge the Sopranos again, you know, and watch. I mean, I watched it when it was on HBO, but I haven't seen it in years. So I'm like, I'm gonna go binge the Sopranos and and watch it and get ready for the for the movie, right? Um, it's so much stuff on there and, uh, it's, it's, it's put together pretty nicely. I actually like it better than Disney plus. I mean, right now, maybe when the Disney, when the Marvel MCU shows start up, maybe it'd be a change of pace for me. But other than the Mandalorian, I don't even open the Disney app. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. So anyhow, we'll talk about that too. Everybody's opinion, but you guys in the, in the chat room, shout out to everybody that's holding it down right now. We appreciate you. Uh, give your opinions. Tell me if you're excited about this deal that HBO Max did with Warner Brothers bringing their movies. Um, are you going to go to the theaters? Because they will be available in the theaters. Is what like they'll release them in theaters, but also on HBO Max, like they're doing with Wonder Woman. Do you plan on, you know, venturing to the theater and seeing Wonder Woman this this Christmas, or are you going to watch it from home? You know, some people. You know, just like our own Kevin, you know, he he's a theater guy, so he's going to go to the theater watch it. Ralph is another person who's a theater guy, so they'll probably find a way to go to the theater, you know, if they can do it in a safe way, go to the theater and watch it. I get it. I will not. <laughs> so just saying. So we'll, we'll go from there and we'll see. But, you know, um, got a lot to get to, so we'll get started on it. Thanks again for watching, tuning in, listening to... Real talk with the director. I am the director, in case you didn't know. I brought my Jedi counsel with me. And here they go, if you don't believe me. Ralph, Kev, you're in the building. Welcome back, gentlemen. Thank you. Hello. All right. What's up, y'all? Um, real quick, Wee! I got a gripe. <laughs> I got a gripe. I have a gripe. You got a gripe already, Wee! Ralph? It's freaking it's 9-11. <laughs> I know it's, it's not 11 and I, I got a great I'm just going to say this real fast right I was out last night and MTV decided to have their movie award show last night and it's called the MTV greatest of all movies greatest of all time all right. okay I didn't want to watch it because I thought it was going to be stupid mm. and I'm halfway right <laughs> right I'm I'm looking at the, at the the awards that were listed that they gave. They gave one award out for greatest dynamic duo of all time. Oh, one for for like most epic kiss and all that stuff. And some of the awards I'm okay with. However, however, two of them no. First and foremost, <laughs> right? They had they had an award that was uh, She-Ra, like. A, like a She-Ra award, like for female action hero, and okay. they gave it to Gal Gadot. No, Already? no, fuck out of here, fuck out of here. Right. What they mean? They gave it exactly. to Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot. So, uh -huh. so I was talking to a friend of mine about this. She said, she said, well, Rob, it's 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 a it's a it's a super award. Like, no, it's not. It's the female <laughs> action yeah. award. Yeah. Like, so I looked and it said that that the greatest of all time was covering films from the eighties until now. So you gave it to Gal Gadot, like you didn't he never hear Sigourney Weaver as Ripley, you never heard of uh, Mila Jovich as Alice in Resident Evil, you never heard of Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow, you never heard Charlie of Charlie Theron. 
Charlie Theron. Yeah, I mean, man, she, man. she's done. She's I'm done like, multiple. Like, 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 she's done multiple action female action hero or whatever action I, star. You got the. You the, never heard. The, um, you never heard of Jennifer it? Lawrence in the Hunger Games before right. Gal Gadot. So that that's that's my first gripe. Right. Then the second gripe right is how Holly how, 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 Holly Berry. What they never heard of Holly Berry? Yeah. <laughs> well, I I, 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 I kind of sort of see why they get into Holly Berry because she he's been kind of like. Deparalyzed a lot in the X Men movies. So I understood that. I understood. Well, I mean, that. yeah, you know that, that that was just we know and how that thing, went. No, but, but she still, Gray, but she still got Bond. She still got John Wick. Well, it might, it might, it might Who? just be for, for for as one character, and that's right. what I said. Like, like the three people I mentioned, they have played that role multiple times, so that's mm-hmm. why they count. Whereas, like as you said, with um uh uh uh. uh Charlie Starron. Charlie Starron. Well, I, 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 no, I got what you. I got what you. I got what you. I got. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. So even. Yeah. So even and what, what other you award, said. Yeah, and the other award that I had the problem with is the 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 the, the, the uh, greatest kiss of all time. The award, um, mm-hmm. They gave it to Sarah Michelle Gellar and Summer Blair for um, cruel intentions. Cruel intentions. And no disrespect. That was, kiss, was <laughs> that was a cool scene, though. That was a cool scene. But if I'm going to really think about epic kiss, Tommy McGuire and Christian Dunst from Spider-Man, he kisses her, she kisses him upside down while he's hanging on a web. A little <laughs> more epic. A little more. Yeah, yeah I'd say yeah, so. I'm just saying. I'm yeah. And then, They've won and it before then, in the past, though, then, I think. Yeah. They've won it in the past, I yes, think. Yes, they did. At the MTV Awards. Yes, yeah. they did. They they certainly did. Now I'm looking at the list. So and and then this one, goat. When you say goat, that's what Grace of uh-huh. All Time they called the goat. Yeah, yeah. They danced her goat. ass off. They gave, it, they gave it to Kevin Bacon for Footloose. I'm okay with that. It Get really should have been John here. Travolta, but okay. It should have been John Travolta personally. Yeah, right? probably. This one, com- goat, comedy giant Kevin Hart. Shit, I would have probably gave it to. No. I probably would have gave it to Patrick Swayze before uh, as well. Exactly. I, I, Maybe I, could, Patrick, I, I could give it to Patrick Swayze. You know what I mean? I before, can give it to Patrick Swayze. before Kevin Bacon. I love Kevin Bacon, but that's that's you know Kevin Bacon only danced in one but movie. I, <laughs> but Patrick I, Swayze but and John Travolta danced in multiple movies before. You know, multiple I mean? movies. But I'm yeah. but I'm actually okay with Kevin Bacon. If it was Kevin Bacon or Jennifer Bills. I'm okay. If they said Channing Tatum, no, nah, no, no, <laughs> no. Well, you know, Sorry, but no. No, that's that's so. I, so I, yeah, think, I, I, I think I think I think they let they I think they let these millennials or the, these new well, exactly. people watching, who have no who, clue. Who you think's watching these shows though? Kevin? Exactly. That's, that's what's watching them. The, exactly. The Gen Z, these goddamn Gen Z millennials. millennials. And I don't even blame to put it all on the millennials because millennials catch a lot of the flack now, and it's Gen Z that's doing all of the all of the nonsense. So yeah, yeah. Uh, so that, that, but that's what I mean. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Listen, I don't know the proper, the proper, the proper placement of Gen Z. Well, the that's why, listen, they all fuck yeah, up gen, to me. Gen, Generation Z. They all fuck up you to know, me. The, that's 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 them and um you know uh, millennials i mean you know millennials millennials but like i said they catch sometimes they catch my daughter's a millennial right and she uh you know she's real big on the whole generation thing right and she's like a early millennial though you know what i mean she's on there's two types of millennials she's you got the, she don't count right okay. you got the, no 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 listen what i'm saying is you got the late millennials and you got the earlier millennials the early millennials got a little more sense <laughs> That's what I'm saying. They got a little more sense. Yeah, That's like the thirty-year-olds, yeah. yeah. you know, like that range. They got a little more sense. That's the pre. Right? That, and really, that's really, really, let's 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 keep it. Let's keep it a buck. Those are the those are pre-crack babies, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Those yeah, are like the ones that are you know, <laughs> like they got a little more sense. The later millennials, uh, you know, whatever. Like I stop. said, pre-crack I'm like babies. I'm like a whole bitter bitter man right now, but I'm just saying. Anyway, um. Yeah, yeah, but really, they're the ones watching these MTV shows, so right. they're, gonna, they're definitely going to cater to them. And then I can see you're not going to see, uh, you know, there's so many movies that these kids didn't even see. You know, I mean, come on, you know, like, you, like there's movies you can go back into the the freaking eighties and, and and you talk about Kiss. I mean, hell, you want to tell you what's a dope Kiss? No one to say this, but I will tell you what it is, Prince. 
in Under the Cherry Moon. When the song Kiss came on, he grabs a girl and kisses her in, in, in the convertible or whatever. That was a dope kiss. Yeah, that, movie, that was the best part of the movie. Probably the movie kind of sucked, but yes, it is. That, I mean, it, it, you know, it, it, but that I mean, was a, a part that stood out. But no one's seen that movie. No one in this. And, and, you know, and, there, and, there's a, and there is a, there are a bunch of other things. The, the actually, I'm looking down this list. The comedy giant that they considered the goat, Kevin Hart. I'm like, no, no. What? The, yeah, uh, see, that's what I'm saying. But like I said, it's it's this it's this generation. It's I'm not gonna get mad. I don't, it's no point in even getting mad. Because but, it's, but it's a one, whole, they're speaking this. to a different generation, Ralph. I mean, the comedy goat. It's Kevin Hart, that, that last that last thing of his was terrible. Yeah. That one that he just did on Netflix. Garbage. Right. Garbage. He's not, he he's don't, only, see, I've always said that he's he's overrated. I've always said that. Oh, I, and I, 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 don't, I don't hate on him. He He's good for what he is. You know what I mean? Everyone has their moments and they have their you know their time and he's taking advantage of his moment and I give him credit for that. You know what I'm saying? But that's that. So but we'll 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 get back to that. We'll um right now, we'll now this one I'm I'm okay. I'm okay with the dynamic duo of Drew Barrymore and Adam, Adam Sandler. I'm okay with that one. I'm certainly okay as the GOAT for the screen queen, Jamie Lee Curtis. I'm I'm more than okay with that one. Well that's that's yeah, well but, that's that's pretty much and, proper, right. This and now, she wouldn't have got it if they had no if they hadn't reintroduced her to this generation through that last Halloween movie, she probably wouldn't have got that award either. It would have been Nev Campbell. It would have been Nev Campbell. It would have been Nev Campbell. Yeah, it would have been Nev but, Campbell. Um, if, if if Halloween didn't come back out, it would have been Nev Campbell. Hollywood, Halloween, and I Halloween would have been okay with Nev Campbell. Out. I mean, I'm okay with Nev Campbell too. That's just kind of ironic that the the movies that she's played in was Scream. <laughs> They've been calling the Scream Queen, but yeah. um, you know, Jamie Lee Curtis is that, and that's you know she belongs. This, that. She's always now, had that name. I mean, that name was given to her years ago. So, but uh, you know, so I mean, yeah. anyway, all right. So he's, make he's your last point, group. and then we're gonna move forward and jump on this topic because we want to move through the show. Right, we got our guest here and stuff like that. So make your last point, and then we'll go on to the to the the, the, All right. the other. Topic. The, la the last two, this the greatest the greatest heartbreaking of all breakup of all time. They said it was Jason Siegel and Christian Bell for forgetting Sarah Marshall. Yeah, but really, it's the last American Virgin. If you really want to, if, if you want no other word than heartbreaking, it's that, that should be the Sorry. that should be the greatest. That should be the most pathetic the heartbreaker. But yeah, I got what you're saying. You know, well, what about Ghost? That was a breakup in a way. They were they were separate. Well, no, he got, he got killed. He got killed. That was heartbreaking. But, but then, yeah. Or they just mean yeah. just? Do but they then, literally just, mean just breakup or you know? Like I think they, had I think a they just broke up. Breakup. Yeah, like, cause, cause that's, that's the basis of the whole. That's the basis of that whole movie. Is it was a breakup, and then well, there was no breakup. The there was no. <laughs> it never even happened. Um, as far as the uh, last American Virgin, he never was with her. He thought he was, but he never really was. Somebody lied to him. Ain't nobody lied to him. She never said that she was his girlfriend. Yeah. He said it. That's true. He said, "You know, we yeah. had, we had." Diane, you know, we had her on here, Diane Franklin, and we was we first time we had her on here, we was we was laying into her. We was like, yo, man, you ain't right, yo. You ain't wrong. right. And she was she was like, I know. And she she told the funny story and said she actually spoke to the um, uh, you know, she had not spoke to the writer, but she mentioned to the writer, like, does it have to end like this? Like then she was like, I learned at an early age that when you're an actor, you should just act. <laughs> and not uh not charged. She probably so that basically means she probably got put in her place by whoever produces. Yeah, she yeah I mean, I, I, like, being a new actor, talk about you think like it I said, I, I, the ending? I, I, so no, nah, it wasn't changing. Like I said, no, I, saw, was, I saw I saw it was coming on and I didn't want to see it, but now I'm looking at this list. Now I'm wishing that Disney because I would like to see who else was in the categories that that the people who I think like I'm sorry if you're gonna have com comedy giant. Yeah. If you just keep the films, how are you not going and, and, and keeping it from the eighties to now? How are you just going to exclude Eddie Murphy? But they're not going to put the eighties in there. They probably not going to put that, the eighties in there. But see, that's the thing. It's based from movies of the eighties until now. Uh, well, right? that, that that right out the gate, then still in all, 
if it's based from movies from the 80s till now, how are these movies picked? Are they picked by the fans? Then you know it's a wrap. Exactly. You that, know it's a wrap. That's exactly Who's gonna what win? So that doesn't even make sense. You know, if you're gonna have if you're gonna have it based on the 80s, you should have a panel. You should have a judging panel of that's comprised of gen, gen you know, uh gen, generation X, uh millennials, Gen Z, whatever you want, you know, a little bit of everybody, right? So you can kind of like get a fair shake on it, but nah. That's that's interesting. We'll we'll get back garbage. to that. That's, that's, that is that is kind of whack. That's kind of whack, man. I don't know, but we'll uh, we, we'll get to our topic whack. of um, of discussion. And uh, one of our guest is here, so I want to get him on, and uh, you know get some get some insight from him. Um, our next guest, he's a gentleman. He's had uh, over thirty years in the business, home entertainment distribution. Uh, he's a producer himself. Uh, he's responsible for acquisitions, you know, a whole bunch of projects uh, above the rim being one of them. You know, he's worked with almost every major player company, you know, in the business, Disney, Warner Brothers, Sony, you know, all of those, all of those things, man. He's, he's definitely a uh, real deal. And I, I definitely glad to have him here today. And, um, as our guest, so I want to bring on uh, Mr. AJ Perez. Bring him in. Hi guys. Hi. Hey Hello. man, how you doing? Welcome. Hi, I'm doing Welcome. great. Uh, thanks Welcome. for having me on. Oh, most definitely, man. Thanks for coming on. Kind of a short notice too, and I appreciate that. Um, first thing I want to say, sir, I did leave out of my little opening there. Well, actually, one of the reasons that I know you. Is block because TV. you just you you distributed Block TV, you distributed Block TV for for myself, my brother, and that was our first taste of getting like in, into the mainstream, like commercial, like getting retail, getting into. You know, we were like, wow, I mean, it was in like I think you had it in Target, you had it in a few places. We had it in a few places, and yeah. uh, it was right at the time when VHS started to die, then DVD yeah. started to go away, yeah. and you had like. The mix of Blu-ray and there was yeah. a lot of confusion in the market at that time. I, I I made I've 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 made this claim before, and now that you're here, I don't know you know if you ever heard me say this, but I I used to always say I was on you know I was I was going off one day I was like look, when everybody was doing DVD, everybody was you know all access DVD smack DVD what's really hood DVD. Oh, we were the first ones were doing TV in our name, Block TV. But yet we were distributing it on a DVD, but we were a DVD that oh, no, played that. like a TV show. And that's yeah. what we called it, Block TV. So all you cats out there using TV, y'all owe us a check. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all go and come out and follow suit, and now everybody's so-and-so TV. We was first ones doing that, man. We actually was on YouTube. Behind that, you know, we we got on YouTube when before it was bought by Google, and you know, we were doing some real big numbers on YouTube. One of our biggest interviews that was on that um on that DVD was when we interviewed LL Cool J at the All Hip Hop Anniversary Party, and that thing went viral. That that interview went viral. It was everywhere. We was on YouTube. It had over two million hits on YouTube. Uh, you, I had Ebro from the morning show of uh, uh, over at Hot 97. Well, he wasn't in the morning show at right that time, but he was like a producer. Uh, everybody at that time that was on the radio was hitting us up, trying to get it. BT hit us up. It was crazy. So thank you. Yeah. Oh, it, was, <laughs> it was a fun time, you know? And the funny thing is that we had it out just, gosh, man, right after the, right after the last uh, recession. Yeah, so it was really hard. People still went out and bought it, which was yeah, really- it was cool. It was really good, man. I, 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 I People always- were looking at, they were hungry for yeah, the man. They, they wanted to see that content, so it was you know it was a little bit different. It was what people were doing, but it was a little bit different. We tried to spin it a little bit differently, so that was cool, man. But yes, you've been doing this for thirty three years, huh? I'm I'm an old man. Yeah, man, <laughs> it's, it's, you, you experienced. That's what's up. So now, as you know, you know, uh, the late breaking news has been going on and everybody is up in arms <laughs> and, uh, with, the, with the Warner Brothers move and stuff. 
I just wanted to get, I know, first of all, uh, I'm going to ask you the question and you could take the question kind of two different ways, because I know you're, you're a fan. You're a fan of this craft. That's what makes you good at your job because you're a fan first. You know what I mean? And you are a producer yourself. So you, those are two dynamics that, that really, uh, I believe makes you great in the business because, you know, so you can add, but I, I, on your professional opinion on some of these things, when I ask these questions, i definitely want that answer. And then oh, you sure. can give me your fan answer. To- <laughs> <laughs> you know, so really, I guess the first, first we'll dive right into it. We all know what happened with Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers decided to release their entire slate for 2021 on HBO Max. Everybody's, you know, was reacting to it. Some people up in arms, some people excited, some people happy, some people angry. Um, first question, I believe I want to ask you is, uh, your your initial reaction to it was you surprised? I actually wasn't surprised. And also, what do you think this means? Like, what does this mean to the business from from your standpoint? Um, I'll I'll give you my fan answer first. Okay, I was excited. I was <laughs> yeah, completely <laughs> excited. Like, yes. Um, on the business side, it's a lot more complicated. Yeah, uh, because now they they just opened up Pandora's box, mm. and it's going to change the market across the board mm. for for everyone. You know, yeah. whether you're making a a two hundred thousand dollar film or you're doing another hundred fifty million dollar project, it's it's going to uh, change the whole dynamic. You know, mm. and, um, to go back to distribution uh, to the mm. announcement for like Wonder Woman, the one cool thing that's not out there a lot uh, is that before they made the announcement, they actually right. made all their back end deals with all their actors and, dis- and uh, filmmakers on that film before they right. announced it. So, cause the big thing for everybody is that, uh, especially the talent behind the camera mm-hmm. and in front of the camera, they get that back end if the movie does well. You uh-huh. know, so a lot of what uh, Warner Brothers did is they went in and negotiated and paid out tens of millions of dollars already preemptively to all the all the talent that mm. had it in their contracts. Got um, you. The other, you know, the, the one thing that's why they're like they're like we're having discussions now with AMC is that um, mm. uh, when they made the announcement, all their stock dropped. AMC, I think, dropped like twenty oh, yeah. points. IMAX it dropped is. seven. Mm. All the other chains were just like losing money left and right. I think that one of them actually. Uh, split their stock to try to generate more money. So they that's, to- that's AMC, I think. AMC yeah. is like basically auctioning off their stock for like peanuts. They're scrambling. To- uh, yeah, it's crazy. But another part that's actually being negotiated right now is that they're actually talking to the exhibitors for like those 17 movies and figuring out what it would do if it went out to the, you know, theatrical and all that stuff. And they're giving them a portion yeah. of what their the rental fee would it be so yeah. warner brothers doesn't have to do that um you know so theater owners now like okay let's see what that's gonna be but i saw some numbers and they're gonna scale it to you know because not every movie's a hit yeah you know like you're gonna have a, a lot of duds uh and then you can have a lot you know a lot of movies that people are gonna love and just don't perform so they're going across the board and they're, they're giving them that back end for the theater rental to all these exhibitors. So hopefully some more will come out on that later on as they're trying to figure it out. Yeah. Uh, you know, another problem that Warner Brothers has is that Legendary, I think they financed four films in their 2021 slate and they put up 75% of the money. Mm. So they're like, wait, you negotiated uh. it without telling me what you're doing and uh netflix offered them uh 250 million for king kong versus godzilla uh so what's happening now is that they're they're trying to negotiate with legendary because legendary wants to stop it oh okay yeah. so they're trying to negotiate with legendary and they're like we may just end up just giving you a buyout and just mm-hmm. give up whatever the the their uh, investment the was yeah. Plus a read upon percentage for profit. So that way they still have, they're still happy. 
because they're, yeah. they're still going to need them to put up some money in, in the future. So yeah, so they're so, working all that out. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh yeah. wow. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, deals deals now are going to be structured so differently uh, when it comes to anything that uh, uh, heads are going to spin over the next twelve months. Plus, you know, to be honest, I mean. I think that uh, this whole problem with this pandemic is that it's driving people away from the theaters. You know, yeah. like, I don't want to go there. I'm going to die and right. all this other stuff. And mm-hmm. people are holding on to their content. And only a couple streamers are showing really good content. A lot yeah. of them is just they keep buying all these really bad movies. Right, right. And, it's, uh, and consumers are not really going in and watching feature films anymore. Like, mm-hmm. Not like the way they used to. So yeah. that's another thing. So Warner Brothers is trying to satisfy all yeah. these masters right now. They're trying to get out ahead of it, too, because they yeah. know that with this whole thing going on, we know that more than likely, let's just say, let's be realistic here. Uh, let's say the once if the numbers start going in the right direction, finally, you know, it's going to be a, probably another year before people are comfortable with going back into the movie theaters, you know, like packing them and stuff yeah. like that. Cause otherwise, what yeah, are you, yeah, yeah, it's going to be a while. Cause otherwise, what are you, what are you risking here? Okay. You spend 200, $300 million on a movie. Okay. And you, the theaters are open, but you only got not even half capacity in there. You know what I'm saying? Twenty five percent. Not even. Not even. Not yeah, not yeah. even. And, yeah. and, it, and and not even. Not even yeah. that. I mean, you you could cut that. You could almost cut that number in half. It's from, crazy. From what I've seen from being in the theaters over the last three months, you mm. you could literally cut that number into almost into yeah. a quarter of yeah. the people that are actually in the theaters. There there are movies that I've been in to where I've been the only person in the movie theater. Wow. wow that's, yeah, and that's good that's for you. Yeah. <laughs> but you know yeah, good for it, me. It's good for you, but it ain't good for the theater. So now it's like with these deals, what I when I what I was saying is like because you know, on this show, we like to entertain, we like to inform, but we also like to educate. So it's like in the in the in in a situation like this, where let's say, you know, obviously Warner Brothers had all of these, you know, plans to release them in theaters and now what I guess people are complaining about is they kind of just made this decision to go straight to, you know, with HBO Max. So now I know you mentioned stuff like back end deals or back end money and stuff like that. Is that all affected by it as well? Like, is there things that's pre negotiated yeah. from the movie theater stuff? And it then now everything. what happens? It affects, it, it, it affects it everything. It affects everything. Like, yeah, all every deal, every new contract. I mean, they're literally rewriting a distribution model right now um you know so it's it's and you're gonna have those actors and those directors that are and you know creators that are like oh, wait no i'm supposed to be getting this much and i was about to say so he's gonna be money, so ultimately, i was gonna yeah. ask you that ultimately more than likely nolan's would lose money or you know people like nolan would end up losing money behind something like this like a move like this well I mean, no, no, he's, no. Still doing, he's still doing the big budgets, you know, so he's right. not like he's yeah. starving and stuff like that. He's still getting yeah. paid. Exactly. It's like that, that tenant only did $300 million, Right. he thought it would do a lot more. But again, yeah. it, it was the guts. 300 room. million, yeah. 300 I mean, million in a pandemic, though. That's not bad to me. But that's him wanting to get yeah. the movie out, too. He literally yeah. almost forced the studio to release the movie. Yeah, it's like my movie is this strong. Movie, yeah. Here's my yeah, track record, blah blah yeah. blah, and you know uh, the studio's happy. I, I, made it I, you know time. that. Yeah, with you with you saying with you saying that, it it kind of sort of surprises me how these. I don't want to say the executives, but I, I do want to say the executives as well as as directors like Nolan, who are like just are are they that just really that out of touch? with the 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 actual movie going audience that they're not thinking like hey you know the people are out here people would rather go to a restaurant and eat and people are more concerned with their bellies being full than they are or going to a mall and shopping than they are with sitting in a theater right now 
And even early in the pandemic, I don't understand what what was the disconnect. What do you think the disconnect was with them, specifically with him and Tenet, with, with thinking that he was going to be the quote unquote savior of, well, I'm, I'm going to save the movie theater experience. He's a, he's a pretty cool dude, but he's also very opinionated and, you know, uh, about his craft and what he does, you know, so it's right. probably built into his contract way before this happened. So he probably forced something right. in his contract mm-hmm. that would go ahead and make the studio say, okay, we can afford to take a little bit of a bath on this and hopefully our foreign will go ahead and, you know, make up for what we lose here. Because pretty much whatever right. was released in America was all lost funds. And the movie made us money in the form. Mm. But it was something that he had in his contract. There's a lot of uh, a lot of the big name directors out there that um, have their stuff already pre-negotiated. Like, I have Final Cut, I have this, I have that, I get approval of the marketing, whatever it might be. Uh, so it's that's probably a big reason why right. that still went. Yeah, I'm I'm going to chime in. I'm just going to sit there and say, now, with Kevin, that being I've been said, telling now, y'all, I've been telling y'all this this stuff for a while. I told you it was something more. It was just not as clear cut and dry as just saying, "Hey, let's just lump, lump everything over to streaming." I knew it had to be more than just simply that because if that was the case, they could, like I said, they could have been started doing this pretty much days after the pandemic really. No, but we 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 addressed all that, that last March. We were talking they about could it. Have been doing this. Yeah, we we did we addressed that though, Rob. It's not, it's, it's not about. I understand. It's not that we don't. Yeah. You know, we understand the business side of it. We're but we we speak it from fan point, fan standpoint. Um, you know, of course, you you gotta understand the business side. Of it. It's definitely gonna be complicated, but it doesn't mean that it's from and a not, from I'm not, and not only, standpoint. They may think it's necessary. You know, they may think it's necessary. So. Yeah, and uh, and, and, and also kind of and, and, and also uh, and also the other reason why I and exactly exactly that that's exactly right. my point and the the main right. thing that I want to say about that is I think with Disney Plus and with Warner Brothers now in my own opinion I think that they were looking back at what happened with the music industry and they're like wait a minute you know the same thing could be happening now and I I think I think Disney you already had their finger on the pulse of this thing. And we're just looking for an excuse to pull the trigger. And the pandemic just happened to give them that push over the edge to go ahead and pull the trigger to go ahead and do this. Uh, what do you yeah. think? Well, you think? Disney's got its own money. So they don't need to go out to Legendary and ask them to <laughs> invest 75% of the budget into their thing. So True. Disney's got a lot more True. Uh, a lot more uh, power over you know how their films you know get made and right. what they're going to do with them. You know, so... Um, even now with all the stuff they just acquired from Fox, um, you know, they're, they're like, nope, nope, nope. We're going to go back and we're going to go back into our well and see what we got. We're going to develop that because we own that. So you're going to see a lot more studios when it comes to content. They're going to see what they own rather than buying it or acquiring it. So that's another thing that happens mm-hmm. with this HBO Max deal. What happens with Disney Plus, even uh, the Peacock Network, they're doing the same thing. Uh, yeah. But yeah. you know, with, with HBO Max, I mean, this is all done so they can get subscribers. You know, they yeah. want to get those. They want to hit that hundred million plateau, two hundred million, and just yeah. grow it from there. But they still need that one big franchise, which, mm-hmm. in my opinion, I think will be Batman or uh, the, the Justice League. Yeah. Um, that'll help dry in all the because it's yeah. mostly all the the, the fans and the geek boys that subscribe to the the. Um, the streaming channels right now yeah because yeah yeah the catalog no exactly mm-hmm. by the way i was watching the sopranos this morning too you were no, yeah. I, i'm about to start it man i was like yo i haven't watched it since it's been on like it's it's run right and i'm like oh man and i always thought about going back and watching it and now that they got the movie coming out the prequel movie which i think is very i, I was so happy to see that uh gandolfini's son is playing the young version of him. And it looks like him too, yeah. He looks like him, yeah. And yeah. he has his son, his actual real life son playing him uh, as a youngster in this movie. And I was very happy to see that because that was the first thing I thought about when I heard there was even a Soprano prequel movie. I'm like, come on, man, you gotta get James Gandolfini's son to play him. 
play young Tony Soprano. So, um, yeah, I mean the the, the HBO uh, HBO Max and and a lot of a lot of them make because you know I'm sure you already know this. Um, what was that? Uh, you know everyone's making their play with the streaming now. You know, um, Viacom in 2019 I think purchased uh, Pluto TV, and then you got um, Fox just purchased Tubi. Fox I'm just Tubi. Yeah, yeah, I like Tubi as well. Yeah, they got some really Fox. old school. Uh, yes, I there. love it. Nostalgia, like central. I, yeah. I was for one for maybe about two, two and a half to three straight months. Tony, I, I was watching like, oh man, I was watching The Credible Hulk. I was watching The Greatest yeah. American Hero. I was yeah. watching all these old school shows uh, on Tubi. So now Fox just recently threw their hat in the ring and now they have acquired Tubi, you know? So wow. which obviously Tubi and, and Pluto TV, they're, subscri- they're not subscription-based, they're ad-based, um, yeah. you know, streaming, almost like television mm-hmm. in a way, you know? Um, so, but everyone's throwing their hat in the ring. You mentioned Peacock, which is, you know, network. You got you know, all these people that are throwing their, you know, so my, I guess the question is at this point is who do you think is next? Do you think would this be enough for Disney to say? I know you said you you answered on Disney; they got their own money, so they can kind of do it whenever they're ready to. They did hold back on the releases though, so yeah, they pushed yeah. back on the theatricals till next year, and they still yeah. have their minds. They so they're, they're going to see what happens with Warner <laughs> Brothers and and all that stuff, and see yeah. how it gets, you know because. I think the twenty fifth is going to be a big day because isn't uh, coming to America coming out on Amazon as well on that day? Is it? Mm-hmm. Oh man! Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Wow! This is going to be oh man! It's beginning Christmas to, day at Amazon. Like Christmas. Soul, uh, you got <laughs> you got Soul, you got Soul, Wonder Woman coming to America. What else? All different platforms. Those are like the big three. Those three you just mentioned. There's three yeah. different platforms. Yeah, I know there's like two or three others because yeah. we're trying to plan out our day already. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you're smart. I'm thinking the same thing. I'm like, hey, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. But... You know, you can't go to the movie theater with your fresh sneakers or yeah. you know your new shirt or jeans you got. So nice PJs and yeah, you know, whiskey and uh, <laughs> and your movies. Whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, now I know you. I know. I mean, I know you're a fan of of both Marvel DC movies. You seem you seem to. Sl- I don't know from 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 your posts. You seem to kind of drift on the DC side a little bit. Are you a DC guy? Are you a Marvel I, or are you a DC? I, I, I'm a I'm a Batman guy. Like okay, anything <laughs> Batman. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I like dark characters. Um, yeah. I love Marvel also. I mean, I got yeah. Exactly. Got, you know, stuff hanging on my walls that's both represented yeah. on both sides. Yeah, of um, course. But I think that uh, uh, DC has been awesome doing cartoons. Yeah. They've been, they've been sucking at doing features until recently with Zack Snyder. Yeah. Uh, Marvel, awesome job at doing features. They do a yeah. horrible job with their cartoons. Terrible with their cartoons. You know? It's, yeah, I, it's their cartoon movies. Their cartoon shows are, are pretty good, like... But to me, they 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 Marvel is too quick to cater to the young young generation, and DC don't give a f. You know what I'm saying? No, DC no, be no, like, no, look, no, we put no, it out, no, we put it no, out, no. we're dark with it, we're doing it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Now, um, you know, with with that being said, uh, the Snyder Cut is, you know, I, I definitely wanted to ask you about this. I know we'll get back to some distribution stuff, but um, <laughs> you know, talk, the Snyder Cut is also that was one of the big draws of yeah, I think HBO that comes Max. out in May. Yeah. That's yeah. a big draws of HBO Max. Um and, 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 that's, been, and that's been moved up. And that's been moved up to there. like what March? That's been I thought yeah. it was May, the last thing I read. Mm-hmm. I think they're gonna follow the, the the Nielsen ratings too. So whenever they release something, you know, yeah. so they can it's get May? the ratings up and yeah. I think okay. it's April, May, something like that. But yeah. Oh that's good. Yeah. yeah. That's really good. That's, that's and real they're good. gonna want that. I mean, they got a lot of hype going over that. And oh yeah, they yeah, have people I'm loving that. that. I'm, I'm part of that revolution. I got a, I got a question. Since since, since we mentioned the Snyder, the, the Snyder Cut, um, yeah. I I am someone. I'm I'm looking forward to the Snyder Cut, but I I'm someone that has been very critical of Warner Brothers handling 
the entire DC universe from Jump Street. Mm -hmm. In your honest opinion, you're over 30 plus years in the business. Is Snyder, if the Snyder Cut comes out, whether it's good or bad, how fans perceive it being good or bad, does Warner Bros. actually need the Snyder Cut to be good to keep the DC going? To go in, in, the, in the direction that they wanted to go, or would if it if it comes out and people sit to say, well, what was released in the theater was better than what we all thought it was going to be with the Snyder Cut, is that like the nail in the coffin for them because in my my personal opinion DC has not done the greatest with the, these characters with the exception of Nolan's Batman and maybe Snyder is Man of Steel but everything else just kind of like and I'm gonna even say Man of Steel because it, it was a drastic change from what the Dark Knight was but do they need do, like does one is one of us putting all their best on the continuation of the DC universe? On the Snyder cut, and isn't and then in that question, is it fair to put all that put all that pressure on on Snyder with with this cut? Um, uh, three three answers to that. Um, so I think Wes, you mentioned that uh, do the studios know what's going on? No, the studios don't know what's going on. They always got the executives going in like we didn't like this, do it this way. Executives always overrule DC. DC now has got a little bit more of their own power back. Damn executives. Uh, you know, so... Do you drink lattes? <laughs> Do you drink lattes? <laughs> I'm serious. I'm, oh, no, I'm God. serious. Do you drink lattes? Or do That's you have an I... ankle tattoo? <laughs> no, I don't have an ankle tattoo. But, uh, <laughs> um, but no, so um, number two, um, Zack Snyder's been the closest to being true to the material that DC wrote. And that's why they, they kind of like it. They So um, I think that they're giving him more power to do that because now apparently from what I've read, he's going to oversee the DC Universe for Warner Brothers. And the good thing is that they're going to cross over with stuff they did with television already. So I think that DC on TV has been awesome. Like I love The Flash. I yeah. love Supergirl. I love Green uh, the, uh, 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 Arrow. Uh, you know, so uh, Black Lightning, yeah, got canceled. Black got Lightning canceled. canceled, canceled but yeah, I think it's crossing over to HBO Max and they're probably, you know, they're yeah, probably gonna continue it. Yeah, because I, uh, I can see them doing that too. Well, it's got they, one more they, they season. With, yeah, and they continue. Yeah, they, um, they have one more uh, season. Yeah, they could. They 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 picked up all of the pretty much the DC stuff. Like I got the, Swamp um, Thing now on there, which is awesome. If you never saw Swamp Thing before, it only um, lived through one season. It was like the best season ever for like a really obscure character. But yeah. Swamp Thing gonna is bring dope. Him back. Swamp Thing they're is gonna dope. They're going to bring him back. Yeah, they're going to bring him back with Constance. Yeah, uh, yeah, Constance yes. Because they're going to do the Dark Universe or the Dark uh, Dark Justice. Yeah, so yeah. That'll be super cool. Uh, so I, think they have a, I think they have a plan and they, they are kind of following a little bit of the, the Marvel formula. Mm -hmm. As to how to develop these things, because the one thing that they they rushed is uh, uh, all these, you know, the team up movies. Yeah. Wait, mm -hmm. and, and yeah. really just developing. They're like, we need to make a a, a, a statement now. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, I think that uh, with Zack Snyder and all the tragedy that he went through last year, mm -hmm. and then uh, Warner Brothers was infighting a lot during that time. That they said, okay, let's get the guy who let's get the Marvel guy to come over and, huh. and finish this movie. And I think he did way more damage than yeah. also so if they would have held off on it. Yeah. it yes. uh, they should have waited and let Zach do what he does. Um, yeah. I heard that he's done four screenings for the executives with a lot of unfinished footage mm -hmm. and including the actors, which is why everybody decided to come back, including mm -hmm. uh Batfleck. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You know, because they like where the where the movie is. Yeah. So th there might be a follow up series to Justice League, the Zack the, the Zack Snyder cut after mm -hmm. that. But they're already there. Uh, ben Affleck already agreed to doing the Batman movie again, his version. Yes. And they're gonna cross over all these things. That's what they don't have a problem with doing. Uh, I think they're gonna end up doing Black Superman here in the next two to three years. Uh -huh. uh, but they're gonna. They're, now that the multiverse got introduced, yeah. they're going to allow them all to come on in, just kind of like they did with uh, 
a Marvel. That way they could have, you know, uh, Nolan's Batman actually, that universe exists in one of the worlds. In you one know? of the worlds, right. Exactly. Which means yeah. he can always bring it back if they needed yeah. to. I mean, he probably won't do it now because he's pissed with Warner Brothers. <laughs> but <laughs> just saying, it's, 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 it's the possibilities there. Because, you know, he left, the way he left the series, he ended it. But he left it open. He ended it, but it's always a possibility. He hasn't said no yet. He has not said no, especially now that they're bringing back all these old Batmans and you know all these old other other um, characters. Yeah, uh, for the, especially for the Flash movie, that's yeah, gonna yeah. open up a nice if they if they execute it properly. If they execute it exactly, you right? Know, and see, and, that, and see, that's the that's my. That's now. That's my one. That's that's my only issue with that. If they bring Nolan back, because uh, and not unfortunately, but it's just the fact that Nolan bases his Batman Reality. more off of a, a more yeah. realistic, a, a more realistic tone. So yeah. if you, so you know, how are they going to make that gel? Like, damn, no, I don't know. He no, probably I mean, wouldn't be able to make that gel because that's not his thing. I mean, even though I'm not even gonna say it's not his thing. I mean, hell, look at all his other movies. It's not based on reality, but you know, he can do it. Right. Obviously, look at Inception. Look at Tenet. Like he can do it. You know, yeah. I mean, it's just the fact of if he wants to. I mean, I think I think he can because I think he just wanted to make that that he wanted to keep it that way for that, that iteration. You know? Yeah, for that iteration of Batman, he wanted to make it that way because I think he wanted to really. And he and it, it, to be honest with you, some people complain about it. I even have my gripes with some of it, but it's good he did that because he helped really get the the comic book film realm recognized by the Academy and stuff like that a little more. You know what I mean? Because of the way, yeah. the, especially with the performances. You know what I mean? So um, I thought that was good. You know, well, um, he 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 also kept up, which is something that the other Batman movies didn't really do too well. They they went way over the top. Mm -hmm. He kept the gadgets really cool and, and like get, and and, and, and yeah, yeah. exactly. Not out, uh, not the the bat, the bat American Express car, bat nipple <laughs> crap, and the bat nipples. Exactly. <laughs> you know, yeah, all of that stuff. No, I get I get you on that. So, what do you think though? Um, from so we said about Disney, you, see, you know, Disney can kind of like do their own thing. Who, if you were to just predict, it's just a, it's a, a a slight or light prediction, who do you think would be next to to make this move? And do you think do you think everyone else is just going to sit back and wait? For Universal Universal is actually um, already kind of negotiating a similar deal. Mm -hmm. They're going to wait for what happens the twenty fifth before they make their own announcements for over some of their movies. Because they did make a lot of money on trolls when they went straight to trolls. That was the name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they made a, it was all profit. There was no yeah. advertising. You know, so, yep. uh, you know the the thing that that sucks is that all the industries that'll be impacted. You know, yeah. uh, the billboards. You know, all mm -hmm. the advertising, radio, all that stuff. Most that all, lose all money. these deals I'm be able to get. I mean, I'm hoping that there'll be some sort of a semblance of uh, safety protocols put, put in in theaters so we can go in there and watch some of these movies because I still want to do that. Yeah. But, you know, don't get me wrong. I just bought a whole new set of, like, speakers for my, my TV. So <laughs> yeah. you get the yeah, whole thing. Like, everybody everybody needs to – y'all need to invest your stock. They should have invested at the beginning of the pandemic. People should have invested in Home Depot. Because everybody's doing home you know, or, or yeah. loads. Because everybody's doing work on their homes and stuff like that. While they home. And your equipment. And, yeah, and your equipment. Yeah, yeah and, and your equipment. Like, you know, um, any sort of, you know, TV, uh, yeah. home, home stereo, you know, yeah. home, home theater equipment. Wow. Stuff audio like fill. Audio fill. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, I, stuff like that. I but, have, uh, I, go ahead, I, Ralph. I got a question. I have a question. Were you just saying that about Universal, that they... You know, are in the process of trying to get that. Would them getting their own streaming service be how they actually restart or try to revamp their dark universe? I mean, it, could that be something that they they would try to put onto a streaming service? I mean, to to, to, to jumpstart it after the disaster of the month. They, no, they're, they they're, executed that badly. They need to like totally reboot it and and do what they you know they can do it on the streaming service for sure. 
Uh, but they need to reboot that whole monster universe that they were trying to create. Well, mm. I, I, I thought that they already. I thought that they already started with the Invisible Man, and right now I think they got uh, James Wan, and God, what's the other guy's name? Um, the guy yeah, that did. Um, it'll come to me in a minute. Uh, I can't believe. Uh, uh, they got a great but deal, they're, but they're, 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 they're having James Wan, and I can't. I can't. I think it's Bloomhouse. Yeah, yeah, they're going through Blumhouse. Yeah, that's the one yeah. thing they're doing. They're going through Blumhouse, but they're also doing the um, they're they're doing a Van Helsing. That's what they're getting James Wan to help produce on. James Wan is going to be producing. Uh, yeah. I forget the guy's name who's directing. Hmm. Um, so they're doing another. That's one of the things. Yeah. Interesting. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. As much as I enjoyed the 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 the, the action and stuff of of Van Helsing, I wasn't the greatest fan of that film uh, with with Hugh Jackman. I enjoyed some of the, you know, I loved it. I loved it. It was, it was, yeah, it was a fun film to me. But to me, nah. I I mean, I would, I would actually be okay with a reiteration, a retelling of a Van Helsing uh, story, but not like that. Don't do another one, and it's just like that. Like, give me a, a retelling of it. Well, I mean, it, well, it's yeah. number one is James Wan. Number one is James Wan. He's producing, oh, so I, I don't. I seriously crazy. doubt. It's gonna be dope. Then I, I seriously okay. doubt. Um, um, hold Steven on, I'm, I'm looking for it now to pull up the guy. Yeah, yeah they, exactly. Steven Summers. Yeah, bring, bring Steven back Summer. Steven Summers because I mean he did a damn good job with the Mummy, the first two Mummies, and you saw he didn't do the yeah. third one. Then bomb. Yeah. You know, same thing with the Scorpion oh, King. He did it for Scorpion King, and then the other ones. Oh, oh, the guy, the guy, the, the guy that's going to be doing it with him with with James Wan is Julius Avery, the guy who did Overlord. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. okay. He's gonna he's gonna that be directing. He's gonna be directing. Yeah, Overlord that was, was really good. good. That yeah, it's really freaky, but yeah, it's really mm -hmm. really good. Yeah. Do Do you have any uh, some someone in the chat room? Yeah. Uh, Jay. Have asked about um. Yeah, Jay. What's what up, Jay? Thanks for coming through. Jay asked, did we? Did he know? Do you know if anyone who's gonna, who's supposed to be in um? Van they're Hill? currently casting young actors. Is what the what it says here. That's what it says. Just they're currently casting yeah, young actors. Yeah. 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 It's mm. it's yeah, yeah. They're still putting it all together. Uh, right now, it's right now is. Yeah, right now, right now, the producers for it is James Wan and Michael Clear, um, mm -hmm. and the company's uh, Judson Scott will serve as executive. Judson Scott is going to uh, serve as executive producer, mm -hmm. um, and like I said, uh, Julius Avery is you know the guy from who directed Overlord. He's going to be directing. Good. Uh, so with, just just with those just with those two, just with those two, with, with Wan producing and with that guy directing, I I, I can't I can't imagine. This being a a bad iteration of Van Van Helsing, I just I just can't see, like you know barring some like some executive intervention from yeah, the higher yeah. ups that that they put their hand in a cookie jar and screw things up. I can't I can't see them messing this up. And they J James Wan pretty much tends to be left alone to do his thing, even though he's only James producing Wan, on this one. Uh, I, I think they'll freak. and yeah. he's, <laughs> he's got it already built in his yeah. agreement, like. And he's got his own team that he brings in when he signs on to anything. Yeah, uh, yeah. Especially for mm -hmm. development. Uh, reason I know that is because we we try to reach out to him for a project we're doing, mm -hmm. and we got a list of his, you know, things that are going to be needed. And uh, a big part of it is like he takes a huge back end. You yeah. Know, so that, that's the other part. <laughs> we're talking about these, these deals for Warner yeah. Brothers and new projects. It's like. Uh, these filmmakers, they'd be like, okay, so how are you going to compensate me for my back, my back end? Yeah, that's what I, that's, that's actually what I was going to ask you. I was like, how do you think they would, um, actually, you know, what, what are some of the things, how would they do that? How would they pull that off? They would just have to negotiate a lower, lower terms or something like that money wise. Or? Well, the, um, uh, it's all, the, well, they always do a back end so they can try to reduce the terms money wise, you know, for all these mm -hmm. actors, they get paid a ton of money. Yeah. But, uh, um, you know, I know that, uh, you know, Netflix does not let their ratings go out there unless it's a really, really good number. They want to brag about their 150 million views on, over the weekend for the last Marky Mark movie. Uh, 
He's throwing right. him under the bus. Like, wow. He said, hey, that's Marky Mark movie. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I know what he, but, uh, I know what you know what movie he's talking about, right, Wes? Mm-hmm. You, you're, you're talking about the uh what is it, twenty two miles? Uh, What's the name of that movie? The like one with him miles, and uh no, it was um eight eight yeah, I think it was Mile twenty two. Yeah. yeah, mile 20. I think it's called mile 22 or something like that. That's the one where they're the black ops team, right? It's him, uh, the, 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 uh, the MMA girl. Uh-huh. Ronda Rousey. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Ronda, yeah, Rousey. Yeah, Ronda Rousey. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I had a yeah. great cast. Um, and, uh, but yeah. Um, so, uh, so I did, a, I've done a couple of deals with Netflix. And the way their deals are structured, uh, especially if you do, if you don't want to do your buyout, where they say we're going to give you this much more, but it'll take X amount of time to uh, uh, to pay you for it. So it's always like a uh, a two or three year term for them to pay you fully your advance. Uh, other right. ones they say, look, we'll take it and we'll do uh, some sort of a um, combo of a you know uh, a little bit of a cash up front, but then they give you revenues on back end based on the views. So if you get over, a, I think the last break, uh, the lowest break I knew of was like 100, uh, 100 million views. And then yeah. bonuses start rolling in and stuff like that. Yeah. And they have those, especially for like their TV shows. Yeah. So, um, for example, if anything at any point of the week, that's what you're seeing. Uh, you're seeing a lot of uh, Netflix canceling a lot of shows. They're not getting that 25,000 view limit per show. Right. So Ooh. that's when you see them like, oh, this we like the show, critically acclaimed, but we're canceling anyways. They're not getting those views. It's not worth their time. Oh, I got you. Oh, wow, that's very that's interesting. Now, speaking of Netflix, um, then we spoke about it um online. You know, they just did this deal with with um Holly Berry. Holly. Yeah, they just did this thing with Holly. Um, I was talking about uh I talked about it on on a thing on a different show or whatever, but um, you know, that new film, the uh, bruised. Bruce. And um, yeah, you know, she just did, you know, they just sold it to Netflix. I think it was somewhere in twenty million range or something like that. As she got for that film. She 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 got a good deal. She got um as soon as she partnered up with Dana White, he brought in CAA and you know his big team and yeah um, and then it stopped being her little independent movie that she was doing it right. became something to where she was actually still serving whatever they wanted her to do so she actually mm-hmm. had to make a lot of changes mm. and reshoots based on what they were doing wow uh, locations that they had said and stuff like that yeah. Uh, now Dana Hi. White, not to cut you up, but Dana White, for people who may not know, he's kind of like the Vince McMahon, right, of uh, MMA. Of MMA, yeah. yeah. He's like the Vince McMahon of of mm-hmm. mixed martial arts and the whole that whole thing. Just to give people an insight on who that he's is, kind of he's kind of a shady guy too. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's kind of like Vince. <laughs> <laughs> he's very much a, a, a shady dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I can tell you, I didn't mean to cut you off. I just wanted to let people to know who Dana White is. Yeah, so she had like all this cast that they brought in, and um, at the end, the cast didn't even get alerted that they were no longer in the movie. They were sitting at home waiting for the call, oh. and it's like, give me a call back. What's going on? And then oh, they found out later on That's that amazing. some of the roles were recast by by Dana. <laughs> just wow. Recast. That is, yeah. ooh, that's, ooh. That's shady. Ooh, that's really yeah. shady, man. That's terrible. That's just like Vince. Just <laughs> like Vince Vincent fired the girl because her mask came off. Monday yeah, night, then, Tuesday morning, she fired. <laughs> and then um, uh, he promised her he would have Madison Square Garden to shoot part of this, you know, her big finale. Yeah. And uh, something happened, and they couldn't get the license. So then they had to go out and, you know, get like a small arena and pretend it's Madison Square Garden and all that and uh but yeah. Yeah. But, I, I it's funny. I, I I likened him to to uh Vince McMahon and I kind of just said that because not for the reasons that I probably should have said it, but I just gotta just try to overview like he's like the Vince McMahon of MMA, right? So you know no, but, it's exactly uh, right. In more ways than one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but for her it's good though because she got yeah. you know she made her money, the investors made their money, and uh-huh. um, you know hopefully it, it does really well. 
Yeah, I heard. I I read that. Um, I think in an interview that she did that. Uh, you know, originally it was supposed to be directed by um, was it Dave, was it David Soderbergh or I forgot what he said was who who, who was uh directed, but um, actually Blake Blake Lively was supposed to play the role that she ended up playing, and I don't know how the film got to her, but you know, she ended up obviously doing it or whatever. Well, let's see. I mean, it's this the is- of MMA, so, you know, she shows up to the fights and all that yeah. stuff, and that's how she met Dana. Uh, actually, um, Cyborg helped train her initially to oh, get some of the yeah. stuff going on. And then okay. she, and then after she got the first, you know, first few million dollars raised, um, she actually went and went to 8711 and they did all the stunt coordinating, all the fights, and all that kind of stuff for her. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm trying Eleven to... did the Matrix and John right, yeah, Wick and all that. John Wick, yeah, the John Wick team. Because I know I did read that a uh, few, few, a couple of the producers, I think, also that was on the John Wick project. Uh, I don't know if she consulted with them or they're on this project as well. But yeah, um, they, they all kind of just worked out, <laughs> you know, because wow. um, it's the same. Same team, same company. Yeah, well, that's that's dope. Well, she, you know, she does. She, she's, she's, she's known for cracking ribs, <laughs> and I don't mean cracking somebody else's ribs, cracking her own ribs, doing stunts. She, uh, she, she, she hired a real fighter. A real fighter does not know how to pull a punch. Right. Uh, a stunt performer would, and that's right. how she ended up uh, getting injured. <laughs> she found out the hard way. Get a stunt for four. <laughs> Higher stunt person. No, nah, but yeah. I, I I don't mind you employing the real fighters. Just I mean, everybody does that, but you got to have the you know. Michael Jackson had real gang members and beat it, but he didn't have them choreographed. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Michael <laughs> Peters choreographed it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. <laughs> and that that little knife fight that was Michael Peters and the other guy that was the re- <laughs> he was gonna let the real gang members do a knife fight. You know so. Um, yeah, that's 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 funny. I, I hope I hope it works out. Um, that film's coming out next year too, I think, or is it this year? It's still uh, in post. Uh, I heard. Oh, okay. so it'll be out sometime next year. Sometime next year. Okay. Well, that's that's good for her, man. I know she. I, I heard she did well at the Toronto uh, film film festival. It, you know, people kind of was feeling it. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I, I like I like to see that. Um, it was a good deal they made though, because I like what they did. Um, the Netflix deal was just for domestic, so okay. they're still able to go around and sell the other territory separately. Oh, nice. Yes. Yeah, yeah. This is this. Hey, got, that's, that's what happens see, when you get now, with TAA. Yes. See now I got now I got. I asked this question. I don't know if you really going to answer because it could be seen as controversial. Um. No disrespect to Halle Berry. I like Halle Berry, but how? And this is a but. But has she really earned the? I don't want to say the reputation. The because uh, I I mean I think that that she's an okay actress, but people make her seem like she she's the the bomb, and I don't I don't think so. I think Halle Berry is one of these and women that's just don't want to say beautiful, huh? In person, yeah, it's true. Yeah. It, oh, yeah. it, it, of course, she, she's extremely beautiful, but I think it hinders her. And I think a lot of times when, when people cast her for roles, they really cast her more for the eye candy part for, and, and beyond the acting. But I mean, can she act? Yes. And she does have the Oscar for Monster Ball. I mean, although she wasn't the first person they wanted to go with, but she does have that Oscar. But Halle Berry is certainly, certainly no one that ever. People didn't don't break down the box office to go see like if her name is above the marquee, people are not saying, "Oh, I gotta go see this Halle Berry movie." So does has she actually the accolades that she's earned? Is it more for her physical appearance or her acting ability? Uh, how about how about both? Mm-hmm. And since she acted, um, if we're gonna talk about Bruce, she acted as the producer and she was out, you know, down in the streets begging for money. Uh, from financiers, so uh, you know, she's like, I'm learning this, I'm doing that, and I'll direct it, and it'll it'll be super cheap, so I can cut this kind of deal, whatever. So, um, so a lot of it comes from her just pounding the streets and and just you know, Wes, you know, all all of us in the indie producers, 
Yeah. <laughs> We're running the streets every day. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, I, I definitely respect her for that. I mean, in the fact that really with, 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 with that being said, you know, um, and I, 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 I get what you're saying, Ralph, but I also think uh, I, I, I wouldn't agree that everyone acts like she's this big because she even said herself in the interview that, you know, that I just recently read when she was talking about this film, you know, she thought that like everyone thought, um, she thought that the producers were going to be pounding down her door after she won the Oscar and it didn't happen. You know, she said, uh, you know, not like she thought it would. And then the whole thing with the, um, when she played Jinx and Bond and they were supposed to have the spinoff. And that fell yeah, she through. Was, she was robbed. She was yeah, robbed. That that fell through, she was robbed. Kinda, that it was not, it's kind of like it, it. It doesn't excuse her, but it's kind of like the reason why she did Catwoman. Because <laughs> oh, she, dude, I, I, I pretend she that robbed. never got made. I pretend yeah. that never got made. Yeah, no, I know. Let's <laughs> let's all pretend that never got made. But um, no, I, but I yeah. do agree with that. When she 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 was outrightly robbed of yeah. that that Jinx spinoff because it that shit that. that once again, the executives that should have went into development when you saw it because they see the dailies and you saw how the, the audience was reacting to it. That should have been a no brainer for, it. but especially MGM, which I'm sorry, MGM, you guys, without James Bond, you had nothing. Really, you had nothing since yeah. the 80s. You've had nothing. Right. You know, like every every seven years, you, you make a movie that's that that makes some money. Not even well received, that makes some money every seven, eight years. So you, you should have jumped on that one while Holly Berry was hot. And I'm, like I said, I'm not trying that to knock her acting ability because I think she can act. She does have skills. Not knocking that one. But I'm just saying, like, like people have, have for years, have levied the, these acclaims on her like she was the next coming of, I, I can't even think of, if we just want to talk about actually, like she's the next coming of Julia Roberts to somebody. And I'm sitting saying, like, no, because, because she, she, she is not a box office titan. Right, all the movies that she's really been in that have cracked the hundred million mark. She is in a, she's in the movie. She's she is she is not the lead. Mm -hmm. But then you look at the movies where she is the lead, and the box office numbers are just abysmal. And that's and that's that's that the not the best. Yeah, I just watched one movie with her. She was out in the forest. Uh, I think it was on Amazon or Netflix. I forget. And um, of course, she runs into a bunch of hillbillies. And she's got to save her daughter. Oh yeah, that was I. I kind of I, I kind of liked that movie, but I thought her acting was just a little bit. I think she was overacting in that a little bit towards the end. Well, the yeah. ending was good. The ending was good, but her. her so that was I, the I, last I, one as Bruce Lee. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I, I. I believe. I believe that with all of that being said, yeah. Um, but I, I, I truly believe that you know, in my opinion, Holly Berry. I think she is a good actor. I don't think she's just. I okay. agree. I think she's I, a good. I think, actor. I think she is a good, um, solid yeah, actor. Right. I just don't think that she is. I, I'm saying she, she is not in the Meryl Streep category. She's yeah. not there. Right. All right. Yeah. That's no. Okay. Thing, yeah. Well, I mean, there's not. There's a lot of people that's not in the Meryl Streep category. But the thing is, she's definitely capable. What I what I think what I think was tragic was. Her losing out on that opportunity to do the Jinx spinoff movie, she would have been one of that would have put her on the on the path of what she ended up becoming anyway. Not really, but yeah, her last few movies she's been very actiony, right? So that would have put her on that black lead female action hero route, right? Yeah. So uh, and that that really was a big blow. Not just to her; it was a blow to us as fans because we we would have we would have been able to witness that. We would have supported and, that. We supported right? that, yeah, and we would have been able to witness that. And she had w one thing I definitely give her credit for. Not only just I think she's a good actress. I think that you know she puts a lot into it. She puts she puts up she puts it all in. Like like what 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 he was just talking about. Um, you know, pounding. She's got out there. Getting begging for money, getting the money, you know, together, stuff like that. She putting it all in, man, and and, and, yeah, and look at that. She's breaking, she's broken ri her ribs twice, from two yes, different movies. But even still, this one I mean, and John Wick, because she's doing the stunts, she's do, you know, she's doing the work. She's she's since those movies came through, she's learned 
mixed martial arts herself, you know. <laughs> I, I would, however, that she, that's she's in a 20 full actress, man. Right, but that's in like 2017 to now, not when she was um, not when her heyday when people was really like Halle, the Halle Berry train back in the early 90s. You no, know, maybe perhaps if you put that sort of effort back then that you're putting forth now, maybe you would be in a different category because I'm sorry for me, when, when you get when you get up there on on, a, on an MTV stage and you say, yeah, I know, I know this movie, Swordfish, I know, I know it was absolute crap. That's like, then if you knew it was crap, then why'd you take it? Why'd you do it? Well, I mean, that's that's a question. Well, a you don't know what's crap. You, so you don't know what's crap right out of the way. You know what's crap when you read the script. Not she always. Knew- not always things change, man. Scripts, to, scripts not always. I mean, you can read that script. Yeah, executives still don't know what what they want. I mean, yeah. I've uh, I've been going in and out of studios the last two years, and I got uh, some big heavyweights with me. And um, the one project I'm developing is uh, deals with a uh, Japanese theme, and literally they're like, there's no market for Japanese. Nobody wants to see. Asian guys, you know, like there's no market for this. Listen, are they crazy? Mm-hmm. Well, they, they actually told you that? You ought to hear some of the shit I've heard. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, what, yeah. what, what, you know, when, when are they, when, this ours. is my problem with all of this. When, when are they going to, when are these executives going to wake up and start yeah. realizing that the demographics of moviegoers are well beyond what they what, what, of what they think it is. Like I I I, I don't understand. I, I just I, don't, I, I just I don't get it. My, my heyday in distribution. I not to cut you off. I specialized in in uh, Latin cinema, black cinema. I I did features. I did you know, music videos. I did all all that stuff. Asian. I I was the largest distributor of kung fu cinema in the country. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I just focused on the on this niche type of product, and yeah. people are like, "Oh, who's buying it?" I'm like, "It's not there. People are buying it. They want it. People want it exactly." And that's the problem. I mean, they they they're too. I don't know what their problem is with that, but you know, to 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 come and say that, but that's what it is. And I think I think that goes back to a lot. The executives they don't know what they want. They they try to swing with what they think is you know i mean a lot of a lot of actors and producers and a lot of stuff now are um complaining you know because the executives it seems that they're complaining or at least accusing that it all all people care about now all the executives care about now is superhero movies and comic book movies you know because that's yeah. what's making money you know what I mean? yeah it's yeah. already <laughs> been developed it's an ip yeah all that stuff yeah, so that's then, and so the you know you get all these people pissed off behind that. So um, <laughs> AJ, know. AJ, I, I I'm sorry, Wes, I don't mean to cut you off. AJ, I have one, I have one last question for you. I'm looking over your left. Is that a plat? What's that platinum plaque that's above you, uh, over on the left behind you? <laughs> um, and I see a gold one oh, below that. Dre, that's, uh, that's uh, Spawn. That's Dr. Dre. Mm. Um, that's Disturbed. Um, oh, P.O.D. nice. POD's on the bottom right there. And okay. I did the Slim Shady show with Eminem. Slim Shady, yeah. Oh, Slim nice. Shady show. Yeah. Yeah, I, I got I to gotta get you that on um, Block TV plat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make sure you, you get that. We're gonna get you a block TV plaque, send you over there. You know, you can add it to it. Oh, I'll hang it up. <laughs> That's what's up. No, um, you know, uh, what I really wanted to uh, obviously thank you for coming on and and hanging with us, man. Um, but I, um, I can't let you go without asking you what, 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 what are you working on, man? Right? I mean, that you can tell us, you know, I know a lot uh, of things you can't expose. Well, I, I'm, um, uh... I've been developing this TV show slash feature now. We rewrote it into a feature, but it's a, um, a feature about a samurai that arrives in America during the Civil War mm. and all the bullshit that he that he runs into mm. uh, as he's trying to navigate all the stuff. He eventually becomes a bounty hunter, and it's all based on a oh. true story. Oh, based on a true story. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, nice. so we have a, uh, I have a uh, uh, two huge EPs attached, 
uh, one of the, the companies that's on board helping to develop um, is doing uh, Ozark. Ozark, so, yeah. so Ozark people. So we're hopefully in the next few months still we'll make an announcement and this is going on moving forward. Uh, we've got a um, got a few more projects on the side that I can't really talk about too much, but there's right, like right. six others. But uh, yeah, it, three of them are three of them are TV series, and then the others are features. So with, is with, that, with that is that, that being said? Um, okay, let me ask you this: Now you said you rewrote it into a feature, so now I had with to all of this going on, on into an hour and a half. So <laughs> with, 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 with all of this going on now, let's say uh, God will and everything goes the way it's supposed to go for you. Now, what's your decision? Now, do you do you take it streaming? Do you take it theater? What 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 do you think? Where you think uh, it's going? I just want it to be out. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> you know, I just we, that's all we want, you know, because we know it's it's really hot. I mean, yeah. um, it's uh, it's really amazing, and uh, the people that are that are that are working on it uh, with me are just like uh, amazing filmmakers themselves. Um, and uh, you know we got like the top stunt guys in the world attached to it. Nice. I mean, so it it, it could be huge. Now, yeah. Our no. plan is uh, our plan is to have it be a feature, and then hopefully, if it takes off, uh -huh. taking some of the other episodes that I wrote uh -huh. and try to do a, a series after that. Now, is this is this is this like is this kind of like the um is your samurai movie kind of like um. Kind of like the true story of uh, Yasuki, the Black Samurai. Uh, he was in the 1600s, so it's um, it's different than that. Uh, but he, it's a little he different than that. With, okay. Yeah, um, he it's pretty much America today, just in the 1800s. Gotcha. Uh, what he, I mean, it's I mean the same, all the racism and the Some oppression right, right. and you know all that <laughs> stuff. And he's a samurai. That's a damn shame that it's the and same. He doesn't take shit, so yeah. <laughs> it's a shame that it is the same, <laughs> but um, uh, no, that's that's crazy, man. You know, I got a lot of. It's funny because I have a lot of fan stuff to ask you too. Because you know, we we go back and forth on online. I see you post some stuff. I post stuff. You know, um, I you you know that uh, the 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 Black Panther stuff, right? Yeah. Uh, you know that there's been you know they haven't made no final decisions or none of that yet, but um, you know it, it's it's leaning towards being them going with the Shiri storyline from 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 the 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 comic book, right. right? And um, I think they're gonna digitize them or find some old footage that he shot, mm -hmm. and they're gonna tie that in there. Yeah, I think they might too. They were saying that they wasn't gonna do that. They were saying they wasn't going to digitize him. There was someone that said that, but old footage, by them specifically saying that, no, we're not going to, there won't be no holograms and we're not going to digitize them. That doesn't mean that they won't use other footage. Other footage. You know, yeah. they probably have a lot of other footage out there that they shot and mm -hmm. they, um, they, I, they, yeah. they need to do something to say goodbye. Yeah, I think it's probably going to either be a scene. It's like, it's either going to be a scene because uh, you know it, it, they're 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 you know with 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 Sony doing uh, Craven's Last Hunt, um, and I I think with them tying that in, I I think it would be nice, or it would be a nice tie-in if if T'Challa was on his list to be you know a part of Craven's Last Hunt if they if they go if they go with that. That's a cool little. That's a cool little. Like that. that would be dope though because that that would be that'd be real awesome and it'd be a great way to tie everything in as far as like crossing things over you know spider yeah, universe yeah. and stuff like that well craven has been in all of the universe but you know what i'm saying but crossing things over um that would be interesting uh, i know that there there's a lot they're definitely not definitely but there's a lot of talks of the submariner being you know namor the submariner yeah. being in um in black being the villain him and dr unquote. doom yeah, I, I have a question. And with you being executive, you're probably one of the best people to answer this question. Do comic book films, will there be some point where they lose their luster? Uh, I think there's a little bit of uh, that going on at the moment, just because the, the real filmmakers, you know, as they call themselves, are, like to complain about them. I think that as long as they keep making good stories, I don't think that there'll ever be anybody that gets tired of watching them. 
I mm. think that the base is strong enough without getting the general public to mm -hmm. uh, to keep watching these and consuming them. But please again, repeat that. Uh, yeah. AJ, please, please repeat that for this man here because he he always talks about. <laughs> no, we got we got to get at Ralph real quick. He always he always talks about the base, the fan base, or the comic book fans. You know, the, the, he always talks like that base isn't strong enough to hold no, out. No. Like the people aren't gonna go see these movies. No, 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 no. no wait, he wait, always is the, gonna, he speaks for gonna, wait, the no, general on. public. So. Hold on a second. If you're gonna quote me, quote me. All right, then I, then I, since since Wes wanted to put it out there, I'm gonna ask like this, right? Now, Kevin and Wes are huge comic book fans, and one of the things that irked them when when these adaptions come out is that well, they weren't faithful to the the the, the source oh, yeah. material source because material. they know the source material back and forth. Now, what I have always said is that although you guys are, are fanatics and you read the comic books, you 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 know about the comic books. When these produce, when they make the movies, they they make the movies for the general general people. They don't make it for specifically the fans. The fans have the fandom has. And that's the why they failed. But let me finish. But let me finish. They generally make make the, the the comic book adaptions to appeal to a broader audience, not just the fandom. That's what I've always said. So and and, and the, the, almost. You could pick out any any superhero movie, and somewhere in it, they change something, whether it's major or minor, from what the comic book was. Whether it was a change of a suit, a character, whatever, they've always done that. And people were like, "Is the, at the end of the day, they ask, is the movie good? If the movie's good, then no one's going to care what the changes. They're still going to go see it. If the movies suck, then the changes get magnified. Like, well, that's the reason why it sucked. No, it sucked because it was a bad movie. So with you being as an executive, and you can literally sit back and look at this, should 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 studios when they make the comic book that should make them exactly the way it was in the comic book? Don't change it. Don't offer. Don't do nothing. Just make it panel for panel into a feature film. Or do they have the sh should they have the ability to change things for cinematic cinematic reasons to make minor changes or major changes? Because if that's a loaded cinematically, question, you oh, no, ask. Okay. That's, 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 that's not a loaded question. question. Go ahead. Uh, so uh, that is not a good question. Is Reggie Hudlin, and you guys know that he he yep. did uh, the Black Panther. He came up with a whole new universe and everything like that. Yeah. Uh, I actually voiced, you know, asked the same question to him years ago, and he's like, "Look, the fandom, the the fan base is there. It'll to help make the money back for the, the project. It's mm -hmm. for the investment, the advertising, all that stuff." They yeah. they rely on the fandom to do that. Yeah, they make they make changes. You know, they try to keep a, as as true to the now they are true to the the subject than before, um, so they can open it up to the general audience. Mm -hmm. But it's the fandom that's going to go back and see it two or three or four times. Mm -hmm. uh, now the fandom will also kill the movie really fast mm -hmm. if they don't follow. Uh, it doesn't have to be panel for panel. Right. Just give us follow the, the arc. Yeah, the, exactly. Well, what these two gentlemen here on this show... They want it to be panel for panel. That's, no, I, that's, come on. We've never said that, Ralph. We've never said that. We've never said that. They said they're not faithful to the source material. They're not faithful to the source material. Yeah, they're faithful to... But that... Wes, hold on one second. Wes, Wes, hold on one second. Ralph, Ralph, let's be... Let's be specific. Wait, 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 Let's wait, Ralph, wait, Ralph, hold on, Ralph. Wait, wait, hold on, Ralph. Hold on. Ralph, 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 pause, pause. Ralph, pause for a second. What we were talking about, specifically what we were talking about, AJ, we were talking about the X-Men films. That's that's specifically what, and we were specifically talking about uh what's his face? Uh uh the Brian director, Singer. Right? Brian, Brian Singer. Singer. We were specifically Singer. talking about Brian Singer and the fact of how he didn't even want comic books on set because he wanted to go in a completely different direction than the source material. That's yeah. exactly what we were talking about. Right. If we if we want to be specific about it, and, and, even, and, even, yeah. and even with even with Brian Singer, right? Brian Singer did three out three of the X movies, and if I'm not mistaken, the three X movies everybody loved are the three that he did. They're yeah. not X. Yeah. They're not, the three that he did. One. 
<laughs> then not the third no, one. He didn't do the third one. He didn't do he the third one. That was that was uh, the other dude, Brett. Right? Well, I, I but, think but, but I actually three. think that he screwed up uh, yeah. uh, the apocalypse movie. Oh yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, 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 thank, yes you. thank you, thank you, yes, thank you. But look at that. That's the last yeah, one. All right, so Jason, what, Jason, Jason's in the chat room. He says there are certain things that should be in films that are ignored, and the movies do suffer from the lack of uh, regarding the source material. Exactly. Um, I'm, I'm, I can't. Yeah. I can't. I couldn't agree with that one. But like, but like I have said, and I'm gonna keep saying, like, di- like when they when they did Batman vs Superman, did I really need to see again? Bruce Wayne's parents dying because in this one he put the gun underneath the the, the pearl necklace because because that's how it was in the comic book. It well, well that well, that was fan service, but that no, but that, that was, was no, but see that's that's a different story. That was fan service. That was fan service. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't it matter. Does matter, Ralph. This is oh, just it does matter, matter, Ralph. What are you it talking don't about? I got super excited it when doesn't I saw matter that. not one bit. The, the Wait, AJ, repeat that, AJ. What did you just say, AJ? <laughs> I said I got excited when I saw that. Action, that. Man, yeah, he said he got excited. Right. He started, see, this is what I'm saying. And if you, now, Ralph, if you see Ralph, every Ralph, single- listen up. You said this is the thing. You said now. I, I see what you're saying, but you first of all, you put words in our mouth by saying that we did this, we did that. This is the thing. That was nope. fast. We, and, and I went on record and said that yes, it wasn't necessary. To, I didn't, you know, wasn't really necessary to see Bruce pa- Bruce Wayne's parents die again. But being that he did it, he did it the right way because it was a it was it was a panel for panel type of thing that he did cinematically, which hadn't been done ever in the films. In the Batman yeah. film, and, and and AJ will attest to that because he's a Batman fan. You know what I'm yeah. So that's so yes. If you're gonna do it, maybe you we could have lived without it. Fans. You gotta give yeah. nods to the fans because we exactly. live. I'm, I'm, I, I, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I am in, I am in agreement with that one. I mean, yes, you gotta give. <laughs> he's gonna. He's not gonna. Yeah, let exactly. Go. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's why you. That's why your feet is breaking up. That's why your internet is trash right now. Because your point is mute. <laughs> All right. AJ, hey, I'm not gonna keep you all night, man. I'm not even here. <laughs> but definitely, man. Shout out. To you. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. I want you to shout out your social media or anything if anybody wanna, you know, keep up with what you're doing and doing your thing, man. And let, let me know. Um, I'm I'm uh I'm gonna change it up later on, but uh, right now it's just Facebook, AJ yeah. Perez, yeah, uh, and then uh, Splash House Pictures, yeah, Facebook, and uh, I think it's on Instagram and Twitter as well. Yeah, that, that's, that's what's up, man. Um, definitely, man. I, I definitely, well, I, I, I enjoy having you up here, and I definitely hope you can uh, come back and join with us a couple, you know, some more, because I really like to continue to pick your brain. I could be up here all night with you, though, you know, because right? <laughs> you know, there's a lot of stuff that I'm trying to catch up with, like, with you, like, yeah, what did you think about this? What did you think about that? You know, so. Um, right. But definitely, man, I, we we really appreciate your insight. Yes, sir. Com- coming up here, oh, well, man. Thanks for having me on. Praying, bringing some, you know, like I said, our, our audience likes to learn, too, from us, you know what I mean? <laughs> So hopefully you learned a little something today. And uh, definitely, man, come back with us very soon. Yeah, yeah, just let me know. I mean, you see my feet every day. Yes, sir. <laughs> Either I'm angry about <laughs> politics or I'm, I'm happy about uh, something going on. <laughs> wow. He's my yeah. kind of, yeah, I got I to gotta start following yeah. you. You sound like you're my kind of guy, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He will. You'll, you'll love him. You'll love him, man. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. But most definitely, man, come back with us, bro, and we'll uh we'll, we'll get up with you some more, man. Thanks All again. Right. Nice to meet you, AJ. Thank you, guys. All right. All right. All right. Nice to meet you, too. All right. All right. Good night. Yeah, there you go, AJ. <laughs> Ralph, give it up, Ralph. Give it up, man. Now, you heard it. Bro, from, now, he, had to break. Now, now, listen, let's <laughs> break. We got to play the tapes. We got. I got to get the tapes. Yeah, you just said. Oh yeah, please, please find the tapes. I'm gonna find the tapes. I have never said that I wanted the films to be panel for panel with the comic books. I've never said that ever in my life. Is that not changing the course material? Is that not changing the course material? I mean, I said. I said the source material, but that doesn't mean panel for panel. You heard what he said, right? He said. 
What he you said was, I, I agree gotta, with that. No, I not just that. not even that. He said, he said, you know, I don't have to be paddle for paddle. Just follow the arc. That's what he said. That's all he said. That's he very, said. that's very true. And, and I, I might grant that, but let's be real. A lot of the the, the storylines of the comic books that come that come on have changed the story arc. But is it, is it at the end of the day, is it a bad movie? Did did not following the source material really make it a bad movie? Well, in a, lot of question, in a lot of the cases, in a lot of the cases, because the movie yeah, was bad, not cases. because of the source material, because the movie no, itself was bad. Not well, because of well, but, but listen to why don't you replay what you just said? Listen to what you said. It's not because the movie was. It was because the movie was bad, not because they changed the source material. Well, right. maybe if they wouldn't oh, have changed the source material, the movie no, would have been bad. No, the movie because wouldn't whether, be bad. <laughs> whether they changed, whether they changed the source material or not, the movie still would have been bad. How and just you like say if that? they changed the source material, they should. You can't say that. You only do the bottom. Look, look in the, oh, but you know, you you're missing the, the point, though. though. No, you can't look. You, you, what you're saying is not possible. It doesn't make sense. If you're gonna change the source material, if you're saying it still was gonna be a bad movie, that doesn't necessarily mean that if they would have went with that's for instance, Dark Phoenix. Let's look at that perfect example. Okay, they changed listen, first. listen. But it Dark was a bad Phoenix, movie, right? It and it's a bad, bad movie they made twice. Right, and it's a bad movie that, that they, they made, made twice. twice. It did not follow the source material twice. That's what I'm saying. So they did, and they, also above that, above that, wait wait, wait and, and above above and above and above and beyond all of that, not only did they not follow at least follow the more of the story of and not just the arc of the source material, they also didn't take the time to develop the characters. They didn't take the time to develop the story. They just crammed it down your throat in one movie. When that mm -hmm. when that when that actual because when that they, actual that right, that whole because, saga, right, wait, let me let me finish Ralph Ralph, Ralph, Ralph let me finish no right, no with right. that whole saga that the, the 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 Dark Phoenix saga if you go back and read it from the comic books is just like how Marvel did with the Infinity Saga that was a story that built up over time right. over several different books over mm -hmm. several different stories actually over over years mm -hmm. that that story built up. That's why the story never worked because they were trying to. You, that's not a story that you can cram into it's, yeah, it's a, like a two-hour movie. Yeah, it's just like it took you the, need at least Infinity you need at least three movies it, to build that story. Yeah. Right, it's just like it took Infinity War and tried to make it one movie. I mean, just like that's the mistake that the work. Justice League movie made. You know what I mean? They they they, they started with the work. Justice League movie and didn't build up. Even though, yes, that you know, Warner Brothers was. Was messed themselves over. Obviously, forget about. We know about the dumb executives, but what they also kind of messed up with that, I believe, is just like on some old. Well, everyone knows, you know, th these three main people from the main three, the Trinity from Justice League. Everyone knows they're pop culture icons, right? Wonder Woman, Batman, Superman, right? But doesn't matter. With that being said, you you still need to build. All of the other characters built, you know, you should have built up to it, and they made that mistake. So all I'm saying to you, Ralph, is this, and 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 I, and I'm not saying what you are saying is not somewhat correct. Yes, you have to you have to make movies for everyone. We know that, but the bottom line is, it doesn't mean that just because it's two things that don't mean it doesn't mean that you should completely change up the storyline or the original storyline. And just like Jason said in, in, in the chat room, some things, you know, it, it all depends. You know, he, you know, some things shouldn't be done. Some things should be done. Some things from the comics just won't work or w may not translate to the screen exactly. It's possible. You know what I'm saying? You have to make adjustments. And from a filmmaker standpoint, of course, you have to make adjustments. There will be adjustments. There'll be changes as well. I mean, you know, some of them are of uh, uh, in their within their control, and some of them are not. In the case of Civil War, that was not in their within their control because they did not have the Fox characters yet. Fox characters, you know, like the Fantastic Four, the X Men, the Mutants, and stuff like that, were big parts of the Civil War storyline in the comics. So that's something that a fan forgives. You understand? A fan is not going to go crazy about Civil War 
being, oh, where's Mr. Fantastic? We, we know where Mr. Fantastic is. He's stuck over there at Fox. You know what I mean? So uh, they're not going to, they're going to forgive stuff like that, those type of changes, which which are major changes in, in, in a, to a degree, right? So, but it doesn't mean mm-hmm. what, what, what Kevin was talking about with Brian Singer saying that there's no comic books allowed on set because he wants to do his own thing. That's asinine. That's just asinine. I'm sorry. When you're taking a story from, you, you know, you, you're taking a story that's from a comic book, you know, whether it's a, just because it's a comic book, you go and shit on it. You know what I'm saying? So you, are you going to do that to uh, the Harry well, I Potter? Really, I don't, I don't really do that to the that Harry part. Potter author? You going to do that to them? You know what I'm saying? No. Like, so. No, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that. And I, I've, I've heard that several times. People say, well, because it was a comic book, like, is that really, you know, uh, it's a comic book. Like, yeah, it's a comic book. But you're making this movie based on the comic book. So you just can't just say, well, unless it's going to be something totally original, totally that's the, that the character's never done in the film. In the, in, I mean, the, the film character has never done a comic book, then that's a different story. But yeah. I do agree that you, that you should use the source material as mm-hmm. the basis for the film. I mean, The Dark Knight. The Dark Knight is actually, if I'm not mistaken, it's two different Batman stories. They combine together to make their cohesive yeah. film. And it works. Mm-hmm. Now, are there changes in it from the original source material, the parts that they use? Possibly. I don't know. No, I don't there, know. Is. there is. And, and I don't know. Know. He's a perfect example, too. Uh, you know, and, and, and I'm glad, uh, I don't know if he's still in the chat room, but I'm glad Jason is in the chat room because he's another, he's a comic book specialist. You know what I mean? And he'll attest to you that you know the the Dark Knight storyline that he went with with Batman Begins. That's not Batman's origin. That's not his real origin, but it still worked for the film, right? You know what I'm saying? So um, it, it's not it's not that it's not possible, Ralph. But what what we're saying is, and 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 that's a whole nother animal too, because what he was doing was a whole reimaging of the of the franchise that was actually dead at that point because of what happened. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. um, somebody you know, doing something that ain't that wasn't in the comic book, right? Right, and right. Look what happened. No, but but this is what I'm saying though. It's no understand what I'm trying to say here. The thing is this: with 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 you know, you talk about these these. Uh, we were talking about um Brian Singer. All of if all of those, you know, not all of them, but I mean, of course, when the X Men films came out, you know, they did well the first couple of them and whatever. But the reason why they started to suck is because now you had something to compare them to. By the time the US, you had you had a universe that was more so sticking to the source material, and they made changes too. There's not one movie out that I know of that that movie is out that didn't make any changes from the from the source material, and that's that's fine with me. I'm not asking them to take a comic book completely from start to finish and put in it in, on, in a film. I'm saying to make the transition the right way. You could, you still have to make transitions and changes for it to work on, on, on camera, on film. Because b- basically, a comic book, to be honest with you, is your storyboard. That's your storyboard right there. So I you agree. can take that, right, and say, okay, this is how it is, but we may have to make a few different changes because of this, because of that. Just like you said, just like with wardrobe changes. They're going to take wardrobe changes, right? Because they're going to say, you know, we're not going to put them in yellow spandex. That's why they make the, the jokes about it, right? Oh, well, you, well, you expect yellow spandex. You know what I mean? So, okay, we're not going to put them in yellow spandex. We're going to put them in whatever, for whatever reason, everybody wants to be put them in leather. <laughs> you know what I mean? So they put them in black leather and uh, whatever the case would be. So there's going to be changes. No one and and you could you could search it to your blue in the face, Ralph. You can go on the dollhouse radio stuff, you can go on this. You will never ever ever find me saying I'm gonna find it. I want you will never for you're gonna you, you'll be searching forever. You will never find me say saying that the that they should I'm make the film game. shot for shot from you know um panel for panel. Well, so maybe, maybe the then, per, then perhaps that's how. Perhaps then, perhaps I will be willing to see this. Perhaps that's how I'm interpreting you saying 
faithful to the source material. I mean, faithful to me means faithful, faithful to, to the what story. you already saw. No, no, right? faithful, that, that's faithful what it to means the to me. Material means following the story. I mean, uh, you know, Brian Singer was not faithful to the source material just because you have the characters and you're you're taking bits and pieces of some of their stories and then you're just making shit up out of nowhere. That's not being faithful to the source material. You know what I'm saying? This is why this is why some things don't work. This is why certain things don't make sense. Because right. there, there, there is a, there's a, there's a tie-in. There's a connection between the actual origins and stories of the characters mm -hmm. that w when you when that is missing, it's missing from the story. And anybody who knows anything about storytelling can automatically assume, okay, something's not right here. Something's not adding up. We have this, but we don't have that. And why doesn't this tie together? Why isn't this jelly? Why isn't this right. coming together? It's because yeah. there's information that's missing again. Right. Being faithful to the source material does not mean we need panel for panel. No, because there are some things that just don't, that just, that you just can't, they just won't work in real life. Especially yeah. if you're trying to bring some kind of realism to the character as well as bringing the fantasy portion of it and the imaginative portion of it. There and are some things work, that, that you like just. $500 million budget. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, 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 there, so, so there's some things. There's some things you can't introduce, but there are some things that are just relative, and just necessary, in order that that are a part of that character's DNA that should be presented forward. It, right. It, it, it's it it's just put in there. There's no reason that Brian Singer <laughs> didn't follow. He had he what the way he did X Men. He had you know he first of all when he came out he did what he did with it. There's no reason why he didn't, you know, uh, use some of the actual storylines that he sh he sh could have and should have. No reason why he made these big changes that he did, you know, uh, bringing Rogue in as this young girl and this, that, and the other. And you know, it, it was no reason to do that. So what's going to happen is what you're witnessing now, Ralph. What everyone is witnessing that may not have been aware of that stuff because we obviously we know that not everyone's aware of that. But what you're witnessing now is you're seeing the MCU uh, retelling these stories, just like just like we just said that Rogue may uh, more than likely the the, the, the she's going to make an appearance or her debut in the MCU in the second Captain Marvel movie. Now, the first thing no one who may not know that history or the comic history is going to say, "Well, what does Rogue got to do with Captain Marvel?" Remember, I, 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 I explained that to you maybe last week or the week after that Rogue got her powers the way, not her, her mutant powers, her ability but to fly, her, the ability her, to fly. Her strength, right. Her, her super strength and the fly, the flight, she got that from Captain Marvel, right? She was Miss Marvel in the comics when she did it, but we all know it's the same character, Captain Marvel, right? So that's right there. They're already sticking to source material by doing that. You understand? So that's something that Brian Singer didn't need, he just overlooked. He didn't even, you know, for whatever reason he wanted to bring the rogue character in. He didn't even have to do that in X-Men in the first X-Men. But he decided that's the character. He just pick and chose the characters that he wanted to do. He said, I'm gonna use this character, I'm gonna use this character, I'm gonna use this character, right? And bring them in and and just do what he's gotta do with it. You know, now was the films still fun films? They were still good films especially for what they were at the time. Yeah. But once you have actually someone taking, it's almost like the MCU decided to take comics seriously where everyone else were not taking comics seriously. The MCU took comic book storytelling seriously and took and said, look, look, we're going to, we're going to take the same story, but we want to get some, 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 you know, good screenwriters that can really bring this story and, and humanize it, and this, and that, and that, and and it worked. You know what I'm saying? And in my opinion, it, it started with all of the, like, a lot of MCU movies were like that, but for me, it was the Winter Soldier that really got that started, that, uh, you know, Captain America, the Winter Soldier, that really started that dynamic of the way they was telling those stories, and, and it was really like, wow, this, like, when I saw Captain America, the Winter Soldier, I was like, yo, this movie had, had good acting, it had a good story, you know, good storytelling. I'm like, this is a this is a good film. You know what I mean? It's not just popcorn and soda. It's a good film. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it has heart to it, right? Where I think, I, I believe that pre-MCU, a lot of the, the other Fox films 
didn't take comics seriously enough to say we feel that their storyline is strong enough to hold hold its own and all we got to do is add to it a little bit but not completely change it that's what I, that's 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 what i mean by sticking to source material add to it adjust okay. it I'll take that. make changes that that you need to make for the screen you know what i mean like, let's be honest you did fantastic 4 and the fans are going to say how can you do fantastic 4 and not do or how can you do the Silver Surfer and not do Galactus? Well, Galactus is probably going to be a five million, a five hundred million dollar budget. That's probably why. Or you know, at that time they just didn't, they weren't able to translate Galactus. But my point is this: I that, that's an understandable change if they're like, you know what? I mean, not the crap that they ended up doing. That was, I think, that was was that supposed to be Galactus or something like that in that Silver Surfer movie, but. Um, and they changed that too. They changed all of that stuff too. Once again, there was no reason to do that. There was no reason to to, to, to make up that. Oh, his power comes from his board. What are you talking about? That wasn't even that wasn't even necessary to make that change. Oh, the power. His power comes from his board. So if you separate, it doesn't him, come from his board. I know we know it's that. That's what I'm it's, a, it's a power. It's the power cosmic. Oh, no, I, I know I, that. I, I, right. I dro- no, no, I dropped out, so I don't know where y'all were. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what I'm saying, what I was saying was, uh, unnecessary changes that they were making that didn't make oh, okay. sense. That, that was unnecessary. It wasn't even necessary. You had you brought in the silver well, silver okay. character, I, I, right? And like I said, doesn't doesn't matter to people. Who don't know the storyline, right? And they might have, and, like and they might have, right? No, I, I got you, and, and it's okay. I'm thinking about that too, right? So, um, but my my thing is this though: it doesn't matter to the people that don't know the storylines, right? And they probably felt that's the best thing because we need to make him somewhat vulnerable because really bringing that character in. You know, he's a very, very powerful character in in the comic books, right? So maybe they, I'm just thinking, maybe their, maybe their thought process was, we have to make him vulnerable somehow. So we're going to have to change something and make it where it's whatever, whatever, right? So yeah, they decide yeah. to do that, right? Yeah, it was, it was, it was a bad power move in my opinion. His, power right. comes from his damn board. <laughs> right. Yeah, his power come from, his power come from his surfboard. Only a I jackass like, with the yeah. his power comes from the surfboard. And once he's yeah, disconnected from the surfboard... Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I mean. But okay, my point, is, my point is this. Yeah, my point is this: unnecessary changes, right? So that's why, bro, that I was saying about certain things. The MCU. What I said, Kev, when you dropped off, was the MCU is a demonstration that they they kind of started. They took comic books, or it feels like, it's my opinion that they took comic book stories more serious than the pre-MCU comic book movies. They didn't take the comic book source material serious enough to say, this is really a good story that we can really make better or add to it and, and, and translate it on film. Can I, can I stop not, you? Here's what they did. Here's what they did. It's, it's not just... No, let's make no mistake. Not, And we already said this too. I think you said it too, Kev. Not every comic book story will work on screen. That's num- that's the- no. let's be honest about that. Not everyone is going to work on screen, you know. But <laughs> if you're going to choose, okay. one, all right, all right. Then I'm, I then I I stand correct. So 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 now you can you can roll this tape. I stand corrected. I stand corrected. <laughs> and I mean, and and just and, and no, just, James, and just, and just, and just, and just so, no so, so. argument. No, I don't try to interrupt people. I don't do stuff like that. That's not me. If I'm wrong, I say I'm wrong. If I'm right, I'm and, 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 right. and just to be clear, and just to, and just and just to be clear, the difference between the MCU and, with the exception of Blade, um, the difference between the MCU and the previous Marvel films, specifically the Fox, the Fox Marvel films, is that Fox was more out for a cash grab than they were for, for telling the damn story. The same thing with Avi Arad and, and the Spider-Man movies. They wanted to make good Spider-Man movies, but they really didn't give a damn about... They, they were just so hot on, well, we need to put Venom in. We need to do this. They, they, were, so, they were so big yeah. on trying to cram as much as they could into a movie to get the most out of it. 
If they weren't thinking. Uh, about they weren't thinking about see Marvel the difference between them and Marvel the the, the MCU the MCU they think about the long game they're thinking about the yeah. future of the franchise. Wait wait hold hold, hold a second. Now, but wait 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 and, and this one I need I need to interrupt that that's not actually fair to Fox or Sony with that what you're saying because at that point yes it is yes it is yes it is no no because at no, that point the, in time no, the, the MCU did not exist nor was it no like no anybody's it didn't. No, but, but no, look, you look, you no, you're 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 one hundred percent right. It didn't. You're one hundred percent right. It didn't exist. But here's the thing: if they were if they were thinking about the long game of the franchise and not just a money grab, they would have made better movies. They would have took time to they would they would have took time to realize that. Hey, the story is already put together for us. And, and, and here's, here's my this this is my final example of it. And I'm a, I'm a table this thing, and I'm gonna leave it alone. When you go behind the scenes at Marvel Studios, hmm. what do you see? What's the what's the one the, the one thing that they all that everybody behind the scenes at Marvel talk about, from Ryan Coogler all the way down to the writers in the writers' room. The one thing that they talk about is the big board. The big board where they have all of the Marvel comics and or they have everything laid out. They have everything before them from to put this stuff together. They pull, mm -hmm. they take from, they readjust, mm -hmm. they they they, they no, let me let me finish what I'm saying. They pull from the source material to get what they need because everything is right there. You don't have to make anything up. You can, yes, you can add to it and you can make the story better. And you can make the story more to what you're trying to create and more to what you're trying to do. But you you have if you have the material right in front of you, there, there's no need for you. It's laid out what you can do, how you can do it. The, the stories are put together how you can lay it out. This is why it took 15 years to do the or 12 years to do the Infinity Saga. This is why it took as long as it did to do the Infinity okay, Saga. I, 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 Kev, I, I get what you're saying, but I'm going to humbly disagree with that one for, for, for the most obvious reasons that the MCU itself wasn't created. Two, what you're saying, saying you keep well, saying about, Marvel is doing... Wait, 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 let me finish. Let me, you keep right. saying Marvel, Mar, but you're looking at Marvel, which now was looking at Let's say for sake of argument, 20, 30 characters, whereas you had somebody that was looking at just the people in the Spider-Man universe. It's a different it's 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 no, a different Ralph, no, it's not no, it's not hey, Ralph, it's not. It's not. The Spider-Man, do you know how big okay. the Spider-Man universe is? How big, how big but, but, the, but, just, but, just just they, they, the, just but, just but just that, the, that's not, just but that is but that is not saying that Sony had all the rights to every single person in that spot. Yes, they did. Yeah, yo, yes, they did. Marvel yes, they did. Yeah, yes, they yeah, no, no, Ralph, that's where you're wrong. When when Sony when when Marvel was going bankrupt and when they sold the rights to Sony, when they gave the rights to, to Sony for them to have the rights that they have, they gave them all of the rights of Spider-Man. There, actually, there are characters that okay. are tied between Spider-Man and Spider-Man and other things that Marvel couldn't use because it because it, it would have broke the contract that they it would have been it would have been infringing on the contract that they had with Sony. The same thing with the X-Men. They couldn't Marvel couldn't even say the word mutants. Because it was in the X Men universe. That, but, that but meanwhile, that. But meanwhile, that same. But wait, wait a minute. But once again, you're looking at this thing from today's standpoint. If I'm not mistaken. No, no, I'm Ralph. I'm not Ralph. I'm not, I'm not look Ralph. I'm not looking at it from today's hold, standpoint. Hold on a second, Kevin. Hold, 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 hold on a second, Kevin. Hold on a second. Spider Man was doing stuff before. Not only in the Marvel Universe, but even before Sony started making Spider-Man movies, they were already doing certain things. And same thing with X-Men. They were yeah, they even had, yes, they yes, they even had a Japanese Spider-Man. Yes, yes, they had. Right. They so, had different. So, so, my, so my my point is, my point is that I understand what you're saying about what Marvel is doing, but you're talking about what Marvel's doing because they're looking about everything. Their, the no, 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 Ralph. Universe, I'm not. That's not. No, 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 no. You're not. No. See, you're. But you're, you're not. That, see, that's why you're not. You're, that, that's why you're not getting what I'm saying. The reason why Sony kept failing. The reason why they failed. And it's and it's plain. It's plain as day. <laughs> Spider-Man won. <laughs> Wait, let me finish. Spider-Man won. Spy, the first. The first. The first Spider-Man was dope. 
the second Spider-Man with Doc Ock, the best of the two. Then you come to yeah. Spider-Man three, and and Avi Arad and all of his and all of his ignorant greatness is trying to. He forced Sam Raimi's hand to put Venom in a movie that he didn't. Need. Sam Raimi already had it planned out. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, this goes to show you he had the source material of how Spider-Man came, how the Black Spider suit came about. Mm -hmm. Sam Raimi had a whole game plan of that was supposed to be broken up into two movies. Or three. I, I know that. And, I know that. And Avi Arad, and Avi Arad, instead of him, instead of him saying, "Look, okay, we have all of this right here. We can put this together." No, we're going to take all three. We're going to take Sandman. We're going to take Venom, and we're going to all stick them all in the same movie. We're going to we're going to force feed it down I, I, everybody's I, I throat. I, I Kev, I agree with what you're saying with that one. I'm in 100% agreement. But, right. So if you agree with you what get, you're but saying, but then once, that's once, my that's look, my point. That, that's my but point. Once, but, once, if you, but once again, but once again, and I keep saying this over and over again, you can say Ari Rod, believe me, there were people above Ari Rod that made a decision. Ari Rod didn't make a decision by his No, 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 there no, actually, actually, in that case, no, there weren't. That was Ari Rod's call. It was him and the other dude. It was their call there, to do that. There that's why all, Sam. That's why is, Sam Raimi walked. Somebody. That's why Sam. Ra no, no, Ralph. In this case, no, Sam Raimi even is. said it. Sam Raimi even said it himself. Avi Arad was the one who killed, murdered the thing, Ralph. That's what I'm trying to tell you. The same thing with Brian Singer. Brian Singer did not want to. He he specifically said, there, "No comic books on set. I don't want you guys looking at none of that original material. We're going to do this my way. We're going to do it the way I want it to be done." I don't give a damn about no source material. Yeah, Fuck yeah, that yeah. source material. That's just that's that right there is just okay. reckless. And, and I'm that, gonna make that, one that, last that point is, that before, is dumb. I, before I let it go. I'm gonna make one <laughs> last point before I let it go. Um, like I said again, uh, since we were talking about Spider Man, right? Um, so for instance, now it's 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 arguable to some people that let's just say they decided to make Sony, whoever made the decision, whether it was Raimi, whether it was Sony, I don't know who made the decision. They decided that they were going to make Spider-Man's um, <clears throat> webs organic, right? Come out of his hand like, mm -hmm. like the spider right? as opposed to him uh, having the web shooters, right? Now, debatable topic because some people say, Hey, I'm all right with that. You know, he was bit by a spider, so it make it makes sense that he could shoot a web, right? Um, but others, most people who, let's just say, comic book fans or whatever, would probably or comic book purists would uh, definitely disagree with that, right? But I'm gonna tell you why. It, it, I'm gonna tell you what why that decision to make the organic webs to me, although you know, obviously, I got over it. I watched it. But it limited me, Peter Parker. It, 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 it knocked limited, him down a notch. It, it limited the character of Peter Parker mm. in this way when it comes to storytelling. All right. One thing that you would know, and even if you didn't read the comics, even if you saw the the, the cartoons, okay. One of the one of the things that Spider Man would have to face adversity with is running out of webs. Or mm -hmm. his web shooter get damaged and he can't use it. Now he's forced to improvise and use his other abilities. All right, that 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 would actually that actually makes for a better better storytelling for better action as well. Another thing it knocks down, which <coughs> is never ever ever um, explained or ever pro uh, projected in the in the Sony films um, was, or at least in the first three. Was how smart Peter Parker was. Parker was okay. exactly the fact that Peter Parker was just so smart to be able to create these webs, so the web shooters. Okay, that by by eliminating them, you've already you've already chopped the character in half. You've chopped the character in half. Part of Peter Parker's makeup, what makes him what he is, why he's such a good hero is because he's very smart right so um yes he has the spider powers but his 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 intellect is part of how he does what he does right even part of his hero you know his heroism right so the point is what they did what they came back and did in the MCU and look how easy it was for them to do it they did it so simple and so subtle 
Tony Stark, who we already established in the MCU. Right, hold, hold it, wait, stop, time, time. Before, before you say that, before you jump to the current Spider-Man, you better go back to Andrew Garfield because if anything, those once again Sony movies, they change that back to what you guys. Well, yeah, right? They, they, change, they change it back, right? Change okay, back. even if I even if I go back to that, okay, fine. They change it back. Obviously, they they change back for a reason, right? They hurt. So exactly. they, they, now, they hurt. They hurt. You would they, make they the hurt. argument. You would make the argument that maybe they shouldn't have changed it back because you know who cares what the comic book people no, think? No, no, it, it doesn't matter. No, what the comic that, book. That, that, that came one. out of your mouth. I can rewind no. that. That came out your mouth. You no, said it. For that, doesn't for that, matter. For, <laughs> wait, 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 hold, hold, hold. Let me, let me finish. To me, that doesn't matter because because from, you're right. It's it's a divided thing. On one hand, one hand, if you do get bit by this radioactive spider. Right. Yeah. Then obviously your body is more more which you saw in the original one that Peter Parker's body changed overnight. So is it would it be feasible that he would be able to shoot webs out, out of a, no, a part I, of his I said that and I think that's why a lot of the uh yes, the fans right. just had to get over it because it was just like okay, fine, whatever. Yes, of course it's 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 right. feasible to, to say hey. He, he, but you're right right gonna speak on that. But even to speak on hold on, hold on. But even, but, 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 but even to speak on that, the way I, and the way Sam Raimi balanced that out for everybody was in the in the next Spider Man, he balanced that out by Peter's him losing his spider sense and things not doing what they supposed to do, and him not being able to shoot out his webbing because he was mentally not connected. Which mm -hmm. was kind of sort of the tie-in of right. you know him sometimes running out of webbing, or him mm -hmm. sometimes his 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 uh his wrist shooters would, would get would get damaged. But see, they went back right. to it I'm like okay. like I'm you okay. said, Ralph. They went back to it. They went back to it in in the second round of <laughs> Spider-Man films because they realized that was the best way to go. Andrew Garfield, who actually just came off a of plane, another genius in the social network and stuff like that, he was brought on. And he played a more intelligent Peter Parker. You see what I'm saying? So he brought back that dynamic right. of but, but, smart but the, Peter but Parker, the, but the, right? But the re because what you call it was more right. emotional, but the, re but the reason it, not really smart. It was more just like a nerd Peter right. Parker. But the reason, but, but the reason why I'm saying, I'm saying about the Andrew Garfield one is because at, at that point in time, when those Spider Man movies came out, now the Marvel Universe movie began to exist. It was already in existence. When the original Spider-Man came out, it wasn't in existence. One has so, nothing to do with the other, though. Yeah, it doesn't have anything to do with it. It doesn't I, matter if it was in existence or not. I'm just using it as an example. Exactly, All I was doing was using it. If that is the case, if that is the case, you just said it doesn't exist. A couple weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, we were having a discussion about how they were going to bring Boba Fett, Boba Fett back into The Mandalorian. I told you guys how they brought Boba Fett back in, into the comic books of Star Wars. Did they do that in the Mandalorian TV show? No, they did. They came up with something totally new and made him this total badass to bring him back. So they made a change from what the source material was. And I haven't seen the episode, but it sounds like they made a major change because that is not how Boba Fett came, came back right. to life. But, now, but they now made I'm a major explain because to you. It, it, I'm explaining to you why that's different. different. I'm explaining to you why that's different. The reason why that's different is because what there's there there are multiple source materials in the Star Wars universe. They take they they take all types of there, there's alternate universes and alternate books and novels and things like that that people draw from. So that just they decided not to draw from that. That's all. But in all, so in all, in, in, in all the things there, there's, in there's plenty of things that that people draw from. That's from the extended universe, the novels, and no, stuff they like can't. that. No, 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 no. Yeah. Remember, look, Disney, Disney went forth and said that all that other stuff didn't matter anymore. That it was not, yeah. it was not canon. So and all no, that no, other stuff not true, doesn't not true. Not true because that's why they brought. That's why they brought. But if it was that's the case, then Ahsoka wouldn't be a part of it. Wouldn't be a part of it. No, no. Yeah. Ahsoka, Ahsoka is part. Everything from the Clone Wars with, with the with the with the original movies, the Clone right. Wars falls Clone into Wars. the original. That falls into that. Right. But all the other stuff from the Star Wars books, the pre mm -hmm. previous books before Luke, before Disney took over, all those mm -hmm. books, all the comic books, all when, when they used to have the Star Wars comic and newspapers, don't exist no more. Mm -hmm. So but actually, now, but actually it does. It, 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 just like it, it, just it, actually it does, Ralph. I'm, I'm being, and here's I'm the being, point. Here's it, the it, point it, to prove that, Ralph, is that the episode 
when 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 uh when when Mando got Boba Fett's armor. Mm-hmm. He got it from the he got it from the sand crawler. Mm-hmm. He got it yeah. from the, he, so they might be they, that, that's what I was about to bring up. I'm I'm glad you said that, Kev. Now, the, the book, now, book, now book. you haven't seen the episode yet, Ralph. But I'm just gonna say this: they brought Boba Fett back into the man. They brought him in the man, but they have not explained what happened to Boba Fett yet. So they may actually still okay. go with that. You understand? So they have his face is scarred, and his face is scarred up. Right, his face his, is badly scarred face, up, like he was an after the something. Right, his face is scarred up, you know, and like he said, the, uh, it, uh, a couple of episodes before you saw him or the uh, his uh, the the Mandalorian Mando uh, found Boba Fett's uh, arm, you know, another guy had Boba Fett's armor, and it was from the sand crawler that they got it from. So they very well might be leading into that story. They just haven't okay, got I'm, to it. I, I can go with that. They haven't gotten to it yet. They have have not explained. Yeah, they haven't explained where he came from yet. They just Mm -hmm. they they showed him real quick, and then they showed him in the episode where he's doing his thing, whatever. But yeah, so let's 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 give it some time because they haven't got to it yet. They haven't got to that yet. They probably cool that one. But I haven't read that story you're talking about. I'm still looking to read it because I haven't read that story you're talking about, and that's that might be where they go from. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just make this point. What I was saying, period, the reason why I brought up the first Spider Man in the first place is like I said, these, you know, whoever it is, executives, directors, whoever it is decides to make these changes, they they have their quote unquote, you know, valid reasons of of thinking why it should do that. But to me, that's an example of not taking the source material the source material serious enough. To, to decide that hey nobody will really uh won't nobody really get this how he was able to make these webs let's just make them organic that he has them you understand let's make that change that's a change we're gonna make from the transition to from 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 comic and cartoon to live action film we're gonna give him because because what we just said it's that's what they said, Ralph. You had somebody in there like you that said, "Isn't it feasible to say that he had, uh, you know, he can shoot a web out of his hands?" Yes, it is. <clears throat> but my example of that is saying that you know what, that's not how it was in the source material, and maybe they just felt like it wasn't strong enough that people will. Accept it, get it, understand it, whatever. But like I said, the way the, the character was written for that particular series of movies, he was not relying on his brain power, which he does a lot. He does rely on his brain power when it comes to everything. You know what I'm saying? That's where it all, you know, obviously, other than getting bit by the, by this the spike. Is why- you know, mm-hmm. so, so, so in and, the second, and that's, and that's why it works more. That's why what Wes, what Wes is saying. That's why, well, that's why it works more now in the MCU because a, you have Tony Stark, who is a tech genius, who's right. put stuff together. Then that ties in that. It, it, that's the foundation, and really, with a lot of the stuff with Marvel, not to cut you off, Wes, with, with the really the foundation of everything is that you got a bunch of smart motherfuckers. Well, yeah, they said before you brought me back to once again you brought me back to Andrew Garfield. I, I wasn't that wasn't a point I was trying to make. I wasn't trying to make anything about the MCU being better than anything. You brought me no, back. No, 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 no. I wasn't saying no, no, no. I wasn't saying that it was better than anything. But no, I was what I was proud. saying was he, he cut me oh. off and I said about the MC. I tried to make my MCU point about Tony Stark. Oh, okay. He said, No, 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 bring it back to Andrew Garfield. That's not what I was. That's not what I was saying. I was. It had nothing to do with what I was trying to say. What I was saying was, when they mentioned it in the MCU, they did it very subtle, very quick. He just was like, "You have someone. You you validated his smartness because a genius was telling him that's genius what he just did. You know what I'm saying? So exactly you validated his smartness like that. Boom. You didn't have to say nothing else. You didn't have to show anything else about Peter being smart because Tony Stark told him. He, this is genius. What he, this is brilliant. What he made. You should how do you make your webbing? Yeah, you know say how you make your webbing. Oh, I, 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 I figure it's this. this. Oh, yes, yeah, genius. He just basically says, I, I, I agree. I, I agree with all that. But once again, and I'm, I'm, and this, I am going to say, you keep saying bringing it.
bring it back to the MCU, and I'm think I don't think it's actually fair to judge what Sony did back in 2001 when they were making the first Spider-Man because there was no MCU. They had to look at it as an individual Ralph, project. MC, this is what you don't get, Ralph. Ralph. Material. What you're not, what you're not getting, Ralph, is that it's the comic material. The MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, is the same as the Marvel comic universe. They're following. They're one and they're they're following. following. They're wait, following. wait. Now, now, now it is. Back then, it wasn't. Because I'm quite sure that that when they wait. made the Incredible Hulk TV show, it didn't follow what the comic book did. Did you're that? Did, did it or did it not? You're missing that point. And, 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 and furthermore, let me, ask, let, me, let me ask this question. But let me ask this question: When they when they had the Spider Man cartoon on, right? Were, actually, that did that follow it. Actually, it did. <laughs> yes, it did. Spider Man cartoon was following the comic books. Yeah. Okay. The, the Scorpion, the Vulture, the Rhino. I can go on and on. Yeah, they're they're all, all, they're they're all the, canon. The, the, the two people that he that he were teamed up this. The, the super, the, the two people that he, I think one was. Oh, you mean Spider? You mean Spider? You mean Spider Man and Spider and his amazing friends? Yeah, the only the only person that was made yeah. up from that show was fire was 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 uh was was uh Firestar. was Firestar, and yeah. and and they Firestar. ended up making her, but they but they Firestar and he and his and his the beautiful thing. She mm -hmm. started in the cartoon and then they made her canon. And they in the made comics. her canon in the comics. But they here's the deal. Canon. I'm gonna answer you that question. Now here's the deal. They 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 made that team up thing, which isn't uh. A, and a Ice Man was an X Men, and he was friends with. But they were following the comic books because number one, Stan Lee himself was narrating those shows. With, with directly involved, and, yeah, he, he was exactly. He was, he was he, 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 and they were following was, comic was, stories, and they did they did do, and even in that show. He didn't have organic webs. He made his web shooters. I, I, I get, I get that. But, but, but what, right? I, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is this: when when oh, Marvel what? started sell, when Marvel started selling off their properties, right? Mm -hmm. Sony took this character, Universal took this yeah, character, yeah. Fox yeah. took these characters. They had to look at it as stand as standoff movies, not thinking about the bigger picture. Right, well, Ralph, they now, were looking. They, they, no, 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 Ralph. That's wrong. Be again, they took the when they took Spider Man, they took everything that was connected to Spider Man. Madam Web, Craven the Hunter. That's uh, not that's that's, uh, Kev, Kev, that, that's not what I'm talking about. All the characters I'm talking about, they had to look at Spider Man as Spider Man and that. That realm of Spider Man is by himself, never coming into. No, into no, they didn't. So okay, so then where the so, so okay, so then where the Green Kevin Goblin Kevin come Kevin from? Kevin. If they had to think about, if they had to think about Spider Man by himself, where the Green Goblin come from? Where did Mary Jane Watson come from? Where did Uncle right. Ben come from? Where did Aunt May come from? I mean, no, it, it, it's not no, Spider Man no, alone. Don't, don't it's, 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 Kev, Kev, that's not what I'm. What I'm saying. What I'm. Now I'm getting agitated. What I'm saying is this: <laughs> when, Sony, when Sony bought Spider Man, they took Spider Man is not not Spider Man the character. Spider Man, everything in Spider Man okay. by himself, the not universe. to inter Spider Man universe. universe. Okay. Not, not to that's what I with said. The X Men or not to interact with Fast Four. And that's what I keep saying. You keep sticking on. Like, but what, I know what, all the I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to get. I'm just trying debate. to get your point here. What is your point? The debate. The, my point is this: is that when Sony and Fox and Universal got these characters before, they were looking at these at these as one offs. They were not looking to the link them up to other people. Whereas now Marvel is. So no, Marvel no, 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 wrong, 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 wrong. Here we go. Listen, Ralph. What I'm saying is, I didn't say I didn't Ralph, Ralph, Ralph. I didn't say anything. I'm done. Ralph, I'm done. I didn't say no, I'm no. Done. What you're doing is you're putting words in my mouth because I've never said anything about them being interconnected. That is I not said the. the I said, what I said was, it, that's what I keep trying clear. to say, and you keep saying I'm trying to put words in your mouth. I didn't say you. I'm doing it. This is what I'm trying to come across. My point, and you keep sitting and saying, "Well, you so put words you say, in your mouth." How about this? Let's, let's, let's get the clarity. Nah, I'm when you say when you say one off, Ralph, you're using words in 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 in, in maybe in different contexts of what we think, what we're hearing. When you say they're looking at it as a I'm one off, I'm, I'm done. what do you mean I'm by done. that? Do you mean only one movie? That's what I think a one off is. A no. one off is one movie. The, the, so what are you talking can, about? If I can explain that? it, if I can explain it without anybody saying nothing, what I'm explain saying, what I'm saying, one off is just 
the people in that universe, that's it. So whoever was in the Spider-Man universe, when Sony got the rights to it, it was just everybody in that Spider-Man universe. When Sony yes. got the rights to Fantastic Four, it was just everybody in the Fantastic Four. So mm-hmm. when yes. they, when the studios made those movies, they had to think about it as their one off. Like, okay, it was just Spider-Man universe. We're not going to bring someone else because we don't have the rights to it. Whereas now Marvel, so Sony and Fox and Universal were very what, limited of what they could about? do. They, they, although although the like the Spider-Man characters, but they never imagined back then that they would be able to bring in the Fantastic Four into a Spider-Man. No, 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 no. no. See, you're, 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 you're distorting, right, Ralph, so you're distorting the facts. Because here's exactly, uh, that's like, what you're saying, you what you're internet. saying is exactly, what you're saying is exactly what I said. Now, I'm going to tell you exactly what I meant by what I said. What you're saying is exactly what I said, is that Spider-Man is a universe on its own. The X-Men is a universe of its own. The uh, the Fantastic Four is a grouping and have their own universe of their own. And what I said was what the way where Sony and where Fox screwed up at is they were not thinking about the long they were not thinking about the long game beyond just doing what they were doing. They were only think like Dark Phoenix Saga. The mm-hmm. Dark Phoenix Saga right. didn't have you're nothing to do right. with the X Men, but I mean, the Dark you're, Phoenix you're Saga didn't have nothing to do with the Avengers. It didn't have to do but nothing. You, you to do. Are, that was that. That's my whole point. And they all. And, 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 and that, that, that's what I keep trying to point. say. Let you are make... absolutely right. They were right. only thinking about their own selves. They weren't thinking about a long game because the long game, which but, is now the Marvel Cinematic Universe, did no, not no, exist. No. I'm talking about no, 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 Ralph. The long game is the long game is Ralph. Inside of that universe, there are stories inside of that universe that are specific just to the X Men. Like I said, with the Dark Phoenix saga, that is a saga that took place over from source material. That's but that's the point, though. The source material Mm -hmm. doesn't have anything to do. What we're all we're saying about MCU is that they are sticking more to the source and relying more on the source material, whereas everybody else, exactly, MCU even existed. The other companies were not relying as much on the source material, and that's where they went wrong. That's what we're trying to say. They were trying to, so, and they were they were picking and choosing from the source material and right. trying to put stories together that didn't, didn't make exist. sense. That didn't exist. Yeah. So that's mm-hmm. that that's where they went wrong, and that's 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 pretty much where that ends it. Because you know, as far as that goes, they went wrong with that. And obviously, Sony actually Listen, admit, they're admitted to they're admitting that they were wrong by bringing in the Andrew Garfield version and correcting the the web and changing it. Yeah, right. changing it, it back. It, it, now, now, would that, that proved, would they, that have that anything to do with now? Would, that would, that Right, but but that, but would that have anything to do with the fact that now the Marvel Cinematic Universe is up and running? And they had thoughts. The people then that Sony started thinking in the long term, like, hey, maybe at some point we're the Marvel Cinematic Universe that's going on with Disney or Paramount at the time can somehow interconnect with what we're doing. So now we have to change back to the. To well, I don't the, know. Well, they're not, they're not going to change back. They're, they're, they're actually they're actually doing that. They're actually doing that, but they're. Everything is going to be. That's why they have the multiverse now. That's yeah. why they're bringing back Jamie Foxx. That's why they're right, bringing right. back Andrew Garfield. That's why they. Honestly, well, actually, I, I think, think they're bringing back Toby. I think they're bringing back Toby McGuire's Uncle Toby, Ben. I, I, think. I think Toby's going to be Uncle Ben. To answer that question directly, Ralph, what I honestly think happened was, you know, you have a new group of filmmakers. You got a new group of people. I just think the filmmakers that came in in that new group decided, you know, I want to go with the source material or you know i want i want to go with the with the, the the web shooters not the organic webs remember it's a whole new thing now they weren't continuing they were it was a whole re- retelling right they weren't continuing the toby mcguire exactly. it was live. so it's a whole another retelling right. so you bring it in a whole group of new a whole new team so now they're like you know what we're gonna go they you know they did the organic web thing that's fine we're going with the web shooters because we need to understand it. They, after watching those three movies, you you wouldn't watch those three movies and get the idea that Peter Parker is a genius. You wouldn't you wouldn't get that idea for watching those three movies because he didn't do anything that showed. I, I get that. I, I understand. You, you, you I, would only I, think I, that he's I smart. You would think that he's smart. Yeah, you think he's smart, but 
you know, but, but you, you know, so, think that he's super smart. I I under right. I understand all that kind of thing. But only thing I was kept trying to say is that when as you two you keep saying the Marvel to the Man, and I'm sitting there saying I don't think it's fair to which mm-hmm. to give that criticism to Fox and Sony Universal from back in this in the 80s and 90s. Because you're comparing it to something that didn't even what exist. Are you talking about? No, Ralph, it did exist because the comic books were there. They were taking it from the comics. Never mind. The, 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 everything, <laughs> everything, what everything that you needed. I said about, cinematic. I did not. I said cinematic. I did not say comic. Okay, but I said what cinematic. I, said, are you I don't. About? I don't. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. No, no, I'm. I'm done because because we're not going to get anywhere with this thing. For you're real, not, it's, you're, it's, not it's, it's, you're, you're saying stuff, but I'm not. I have. I'm not getting what you're like saying. You, you didn't say what the criticism have, you're talking about. I have said what, this. What did I criticize? Different. What I am. What I had said was is when Kevin started talking about what Sony and Fox did. They said they weren't thinking. The, long-term thing i said i don't think that it's fair to 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 throw that on fox and universal and sony at that time because you're comparing you're comparing it to now the I, universe, no no i'm not comparing ralph i'm not the, comparing the, it to now okay i see where the disconnect is i see where the disconnect is i am not comparing it, it to now i'm not even i'm not to- <laughs> no 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 because i don't understand how it took us 45 minutes to get there when i keep saying is they had the source material the, when they had Spider-Man, you're in the Spider-Man universe, so you're dealing with everything in the Spider-Man universe. Okay, there are they, stories they, that are in Spider. They, Spider- got of, they got years worth of material that's said before material. even crossing any character over the. You, you can you can you can you could not make you could not make another Avenger, another Black Panther. You could not make another movie, and you could go about thirty to forty years down the road and have plenty of Spider-Man movies before you even get to any of that other stuff. That yeah, you can agree, do. Agree, agree. You, you, you know, you're right. You're absolutely right. I, I don't know what. That, I was that's thinking. that's I, what I. That's 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 I, what I was. That's what yeah, I meant. That's what, when I said when I said that's why they're not thinking about the long game. That's no, what I, I meant I specifically with Fox. Mm-hmm. No, it's not that it's the, bro. That's not what we're saying at all. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm not saying you don't know what you're talking no, about. It, what it, I'm really, saying it really is. is. It really is because, because it really is because there, there is a bunch of other films that come out, like the James Bond movies, for example. The James Bond movies have all have every single one has changed from what the book has. They keep they keep the bulk of it, but they I mean, have changed things in it for, right. for talking, cinematic reasons. And, so and, if they if they gave, if they gave, they gave Peter the Parker, if they gave Peter Parker shooters coming out of his out of his wrist, that because the idea is that he got bit, he got thing. Now, if you would say that that he got bit and webs were coming out of his eyeballs. Yeah, that's that's a big red flag. Yes, it is. But it's a change that they made for for the movies. Now, you can sit there and say, well, for me, it didn't work for me because it took away from the original story material. So they said, okay. So then they rebooted Spider-Man, made him younger, and they changed it back to what it originally was to highlight the fact that he was smarter. What I'm sitting there saying, I certainly think that those type of changes going back to keeping it more indirect with the source material is because of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Not the well, no, I mean, but that's because of the comic book. Know, that doesn't have nothing to do with it. Think, hey, maybe we could all connect this thing. That's that's a um. No, I'm I'm a, I'm done with this. I'm done with this. That, that's that's. But a, here, but here's the thing, Ralph. Because, because, here's the thing to prove that without. Here's the thing to prove that what you you just proved my point. Because the, and you just proved my point by the by by what you just said between the the first Spider Man and the second Spider Man. It's it, it's because they went back to the source material of the comic. That's why they made the changes they made. It had nothing to do with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It had to do with I, I, they went back to the comics and they no, said, "Okay, I, 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 strong, gonna- I, I strongly, no, I, I strongly believe that mm-hmm. if Sony would have stayed along the path they were going on with Spider Man with Tobey Maguire, they would have got someone else to play that character, that version of Spider Man." That no, they wouldn't have went back to you seeing him making the web shoes. It would have still came out of his arms. But because no. of the cinematic, of, of the of the Marvel Cinematic Universe coming along, and now they're looking no, at this, no, this that's, no, 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 that wasn't that, right, that, that wasn't the reason why they made the change. Saying, we have to jump in. You keep jumping in. I think no. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Let, let me hold. Everybody, hold up for a second. Let me let me explain something first. I think honestly, I think Kev, I think you have a little bit of a delay because. You actually coming in over uh, almost everybody, and I know you're not doing that on purpose. So I think Kevin oh. has a little bit of a delay or something. So when he talks, he's actually coming up over you or whatever because he he, he actually did that 
during the interviews and everything. And I know he would never do that on purpose. Come over, um, you know. So let, let's 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 make that clear first. <laughs> I think I think Kev's okay. uh, no, that's, that's it. a little bit of a, a, a delay between it's whatever. I, okay. I think it's a little bit of a delay because yeah, uh, his um uh you know we we that's 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 what happens when you know we're dealing with this whole you know dynamic or whatever with whatever everybody's different feed sometimes we're coming up with each other so that's one thing the other thing the other thing i want to say Ralph, finish your point right all, 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 all i'm all i'm sitting there and i I'm a, and i firmly believe this is just my personal opinion it did not Kev's or west is the direction of anybody real talk it's just me what i do think is that once the universe cinematic once the marvel cinematic universe started up and running the ideology had to change, so they went back to what it was in the comic books. But if there was if there was no Marvel Cinematic Universe, I think Sony would have stayed on the same path. I don't think they ever would have changed it. Yeah, they got they got thousands of stories in the Spider Man universe, agreed. But I don't think that that like that particularly in the web series, I don't think that ever would have changed. I think it would have stayed the way it was. But once the cinematic thing came and they and then they came to the decision with McGuire. And Rami were not coming back, and we had to change. We had to revamp Spider Man. Now they said, "Okay, let's put this change in. Let's go back to what the source material was, right? And keep continuity wise, let's keep it." And what I'm saying is, back in the 80s, in the in the 90s, when they was first started doing these movies, there wasn't a sense of continuity because there was nothing to be continuity to. You had to keep a continuity to what you, as the mm-hmm. studio, wanted to have. They weren't mm-hmm. really, maybe not taking the fans 100. percent they mm-hmm. thought they did make changes to make it look better for for their their cinematic purposes. Whereas now, now you have a bigger platform because now you pretty much have all the pieces put together. I mean, you still got Spider Man with Sony, and you still got the Hulk with Universal. But when they come into Cinematic Universe, they wanted to have cause they wanted to be continuity wise. And even if they never come totally back to Disney, a stable Universal. Mm-hmm and Sony, it's there's still continuity because at some point they're going to dip back into there. That's why when you when you see like the, the first version of Ang, Ang Lee's Hulk, nothing from Ang Lee's Hulk dipped over to when they revamped it in 2008 with the Incredible Hulk, but the Incredible Hulk dips into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It has to well, have it continuity. Part of, it was part of it. It's part well, of it. it, it, it all right, now, this is the thing. You, you, you're done making your point and that's your opinion. Like you say, I'm going to respectfully di- di- disagree with that opinion. Uh, my opinion is I think that I don't think it was changed back because of the MCU. I don't think that had any impact on it whatsoever. I think it was only changed back because it was a new a new team of filmmakers. And that team of filmmakers decided they wanted to go with source material. That's all. Because remember, the filmmakers also have the directors and stuff like that. They got say so over this too. Yes, the the, the executives are the, the higher ups and all that other stuff. But the team of, of it was a new team that came in. And I, I'm just saying, because it, it's both of our, it's really just opinion until we know what the fact is. Your opinion is you think they made that change back because the MCU had already started up. And this, that, and the other. Which it did at that my, time. <clears throat> my, my opinion is I don't think that's why they made that change. I just think they made the change because, to be honest with you, they didn't even really make a change. The person who made the change was the people who the first time around. They made they made the change. What the other team of filmmakers did was what really happened with Spider Man. <laughs> so the, they they didn't really make a change. Honestly, they, they actually just, just rebuilt. They just rebooted the Spider Man. That's that's they what they really re- did. They just told the actual story instead of changing it. You understand? So I mean, instead of making the change, I'm talking about with the web shooters, right? So in my opinion, that's not even really a change. And that's I'm, just I'm, and I'm, and other and other little things, things other little things. things. They, I yeah. think they, I think they changed. You know, some, some were minor, some were major. I, I mean, I, I, as I said before, I was not a big comic book fan. I mean, right. comic book reader growing up. So, but I, but I do remember from the comic mm-hmm. was that that Spider Man's girl was Mary Jane. Now, yep. the first mm-hmm. Spider Man's it was Mary Jane. Now, the second one was this girl Gwen Stacy, who I didn't who know was that, that a girlfriend of his. That, that, that was right. actually his first girlfriend before Mary first, Jane. That was before Mary Jane. Yeah. yeah. So see, I, I did not, but see, I did not, and once again, I'm the casual guy. I didn't know. I always equated Spider-Man's girl as Mary Jane. So when I'm yeah, saying Tony right, and this girl is MJ, Mary Jane, I'm like, okay. 
So Makes they didn't. Sense. So when they introduced, that's just big girl. That's, that's the one. That's the more popular one. That's what everyone knows him by. Yeah, exactly. You right. know. So when they and also because Gwen and Stacey also because Gwen Stacy died movie. early in Spider Man's career. That's yeah. the other reason too, because right. she died right. early but in his I'm saying, career. What I'm saying in the McGuire versions, they introduced Gwen Stacy in the last one and as a girlfriend, but as someone who he went to school with that Mary Jane mm -hmm. was jealous of. Nowhere would I have thought that that was someone who he was going to be involved in. Until these Andrew Garfield movies came out, I say, wait a minute, where's MJ? Oh no, she's she's not my girl. This one is, and then people saying the way she died in the second movie is almost panel for panel to how she died in the comic books. And then I mm -hmm. guess uh, I don't know if there was a girl in between Gwen Stacy and Mary Jane. I don't know that one, but that well, but yeah, that's yeah. a change. That right. You know, that's, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Cinematic. And I told you from when I when I the reason why I use Spider Man as an example, I said because. That change that they made with the organic films, and I want to bring some of the comments because, like, like Jason made a comment where he says, "Okay," he said, "For this argument, one of the most significant parts of his character is his intelligence." Talk about Spider Man. Although the first two Maguire films were good, right? So that's what I'm saying. Now, he's he's a perfect example. Jay is a movie and a comic. He's a big comic book guy, right? So that's what I'm saying. Coming from a comic book guy, he just said, yeah, they were still good movies, but that those were significant changes to his character. You understand? So, right. So, so that's that's why I use that as an example. Now, there were part, there were there were uh elements of the Maguire movies that were source material based, like um well, when he was doing the um the wrestling, you know, the, the that part. And and letting the guy go and yes, the guy that, go, that goes kills Uncle Ben. All of that stuff is source material. It is, you know what I'm saying. So, um, that's fine. So that's what I mean. But I use that as an example because, as you can see, that that might have been. We don't know what the full answer is, but that might have been just whatever filmmakers decided to do something. Filmmakers and executives decided to do something, <clears throat> you know, that they felt was right for the film. The next wave of filmmakers came in for the Garfield films and decided, you know what? There's no reason to change it. We're just going to, you know, because there's an opportunity. There. I would have did that, too. Not just because I'm a comic fan, but the opportunity there as a filmmaker well, why would I go and follow what Sam Raimi did when he? I'm just I'm not blaming Sam Raimi, but I'm just saying, why would I follow what they did when they actually changed that? That's a change. That's not. There's nowhere that you know that that didn't happen in the comics, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and make it this way, <laughs> or whatever. Here's my opportunity to make it this way and show and some of the flaws that they had. Like we said, it the, the character suffered for the change. The change. The character suffered for that because you you had no films showing his 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 great intelligence. So they were able with the exception to in, in the second one. With the exception were, in the second one, they they showed a little bit when he was talking bit. to Doc Ock. Talking with Doc Ock a little bit, yeah. yeah. Um but uh but still they were still good films. And I like the I, mean, I like the Garfield. Uh I think Jay put in in, in, in he also put in there. Earlier in the, in the chat, he has said, you know, personally, uh, Garfield was his favorite Spider Man. Mine you know, too. That was his favorite. I don't uh, know about that one. Spidey. That's his. I mean, it's his. It's his opinion. That's his favorite Spider. Yeah, that's his opinion. That's his opinion. Yeah, that's okay. So you know, uh, you know, for whatever the, for whatever reason, that's his opinion. That's his favorite Spider Man. And I, I mean, hey, I liked Garfield Spider Man too, though. I liked it because I thought he was closer to the Peter Parker that we needed. Because yep. he was he was smart and he, he projected the smart like he comes across intelligent, you know what I'm saying? He and he also kind of represented. It was funny because the witty Peter, and funniness. Yeah, yep. Yes, Peter Parker, Spider Man is almost like Batman. And let me finish my point before everyone say, "Oh, what do you mean by that?" <laughs> without money, <laughs> right. Batman without let, money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, without money. Let me let me let me let me um let me say that meaning there's there's different. There's been through the years different uh, iterations of him, meaning like uh, Garfield was kind of like, and, and you could kind of see the projections of them in the in the in the uh, in the cartoons, right? Like um, 
what's his name? Maguire was kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, McGuire's character, um, you know, there, there's there's one of those one of those Spider Man cartoons was more like the Maguire character. Then you got Garfield kind of represented that that more comic, but the more the more hip, a little bit more hip because he wasn't as nerdy as right. as uh, as Maguire's Peter. You know what I'm saying? He was still a nerd, but he wasn't as nerdy because he, they, they. That was a change that I think was kind of like, like when, when let's just say that when MTV did their their cartoon oh, Spider Man, that was so dope. He had like a more. It was a more. He was still a nerd. He was still smart, but he was a little cooler. You know what I'm saying? Because remember, as the times went on, it's kind of like like Huey Lewis said, "It's hip to be square," right? It's kind of like cool to be a nerd now. Then they covered that in the um. In that movie, um, Twenty One Jump Street, remember they how they said like, oh, you know, nerds. They, you know, back in the day, yeah. it used to be you had nerds, you had jocks, you had what. Now everything's combined, right? So that Peter Parker kind of represented the cooler nerd, and and he had the wittiness. You know what I'm saying? He had the wittiness that 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 Parker has, that Spider Man has. That's why I like I liked him too. Um, and you know, I would have been I would have been one hundred percent okay. If they would have kept Garfield, even when they bought into the MCU, even though I like Tom Holland, I'm just saying I would have been okay if they would have kept Garfield. Um, but they wanted to go back to younger, so that's why they went with Tom Holland. But um, you know, I'm so there, you it know is. there it is. He says McGuire was the '60s Spider Man. Garfield was more the '90s Spider Man. Exactly. Garfield was that. Spider Man, the '90s Spider Man, the one you know, and going into the late '90s type of Spider Man, and this this guy is more of the 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 new millennial Spider Man's cartoons that they that show guy. now. Yeah, the the younger that that's the guy the guy they got now, you know, Holland. Um, but yeah, bro, I mean, it's 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 clear that uh, you know, I I still stand on the word that. The movies got better once they started uh, accepting the source material and taking it seriously and really trying to say, how can we make this better? Not how can we change it, but how can we add to it or make adjustments? Because in like in situations like they didn't have the rights for certain characters, you now you're forced to make adjustments. So being that you, you know, You'd have the rights to certain certain characters, so they started thinking when they started doing stuff, and 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 to be fair, like like I said, I like Garfield, and I liked what they were doing with Garfield's uh, character. Didn't like the, the what they did with Electro, but I did like what they were doing with Garfield's no. character. I did like what they was doing with with Garfield. As, I didn't like what they did with Rhino either. Rhino, that was dumb too. I didn't like that either. That was that was once again that was one of those things where, you know, after a while, you know, got to the third movie. Now, now, now that was with their second movie, right? That was the second. Yeah, the movie. second movie. They yeah. only did two, right? Yep. The Garfield movies, they only did two, but um, yeah. So, like I said, I think Jay pointed that out. He said that yeah, Maguire is the '60s Spider-Man. Garfield is more than 1990s Spider-Man, exactly. And then he also said. Who has the original Spider-Man poster with the twin towers in his eyes? <laughs> the OG Spider Man. Oh yeah, that, that's one of the hardest. <laughs> that, that is one the, of the hardest posters to get. That is one of. And I, I'm that's sure one of the hardest probably, posters to get. Jay probably got it. <laughs> I know Jay probably got it. So yeah, that is a hard poster to get. I mean, just, you know, that is uh, a hard that, poster to get. Yeah, yeah, and like I said f- from the beginning. With all that said, with, with me only, all I said is my my only, my only problem, real problem with, uh, you know, with the first Spider Man movies, is I just felt that because of that change that they felt was necessary to make for whatever reason, I felt the character suffered a little bit. The character took you out of it. Yeah, I, the character suffered a little and I, bit. I, I, I can't. Cool. was that one. Why it was still, you know, cool. But I'm just saying. He, he was cool as a character, but the character suffered a little because of it. That's all I'm saying. 
But I still enjoyed those movies. Let's not get it twisted. When I saw, like I said, I still remember like it was yesterday when I saw that first teaser trailer with the Twin Towers and mm -hmm. the and, and, and he puts the, the, helicopter. the helicopter in between yep. the Twin Towers. I almost lost my shit. I did lose it. I didn't almost lose it. I lost my shit in that theater. I was like, what? <laughs> At that point, it was on. I was like, yo, this movie is, I can't believe it. But um, trust me, and, and 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 I still to this day, the second Spider Man with Maguire is one of my favorite Spider Man films. It was I really enjoyed it. You know, it had the heart to it. You know, with 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 um with with the way they did Doc Ock, I love the way that actor portrayed Doc Ock. I love the way he, they did that. They demonstrated his strength finally. Because he had the he when he had the scene with the train, that demonstrated how strong he was. Because they didn't do that really in the first one either. They didn't really demonstrate how strong Spider Man is. The train sequence kind of explained or demonstrated how strong he is. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, so I, I gave them kudos for that. So they were trying to advance and like like uh like uh uh, Kevin had brought up. They did try to compensate for the the web shooters going out thing in one of the films where you know because when he wasn't you know he's having these problems. But I mean that was just now that's the whole thing though. Once you do the organic stuff, you you can, it's no turning back from that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that's what you you kind of have to do that now to get that dynamic. And to me, it's it's the only way they could compensate for it. But you know, neither here nor there. The point is. The MCU, my only point I've always made is the MCU, the why they're so successful, why they make so much money, why they've made a ton of more money than all of the other films is part of the reason is because they they found a way to, to make the marriage perfect. They found a way to marry the, the, the cinematic portion in the source material comic portion. Mm -hmm. They found a way to make the perfect marriage, and that's why they are who they are, and everything is what it is with them. Period. You know what I'm saying? So to say, like some of the, some of the things that you suggested in the past, to say that the 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 fan base, the comic fan base, that they they and and when we had our guest on, he kind of you know it's just still his opinion, just like everyone else, but in his opinion. He felt that, yeah, he felt that technically the comic base is strong enough to keep the films going. You know what I'm saying? Because they're going to be the ones to go back and see it two, three, four times. You know what I'm saying? So their, their base alone is strong enough to keep the films going. But of course you want to bring everybody in. So yes, you're going to make certain adjustments. You're going to cast certain people. You're going to do... There's things that you do to compensate for that, but it doesn't mean you have to do what uh, what um Brian Singer did and just completely trash the source material. It just I, you don't have to do that. I I I have what I what I what I had said about Brian Singer is you're mm -hmm. right. Apocalypse is garbage, but what I said the first three that I mean let's be honest, most people consider X Men two one of the greatest comic book movies ever made. You know, and Days of Future Past ain't too far behind it. And as you have said on the show, is that even if you take all that in consideration, he had he he fixed all this continuity kind of problems with Days of Future Past and then messed up again. That's just a mm -hmm. dumb. Now, now, now that could be saying that he, either Singer was dumb, or mm -hmm. Fox is just oblivious and just didn't care. That that. Well, I mean, Singer had a lot a of debatable question. He that, had a lot of control over those films. Singer had a lot yes, of he control. Did. He's a control freak. He had a lot of control over those films. And and it proves that he's a control freak by telling his cast not to have comic books on set. Now these people are trying to do, you know, they, you know. I guess they could do. I guess he felt you could do it on your own time if you want to do. But it's like, what are you doing research for with the character if you don't even want to, you know, you don't even want to uh, reference any of this stuff. But so, even, but, even, but even with that one, that's not not true because Olivia Munn did research on her character. After she got the part, so she was she knew how uh Cyclops was that was her name Cyclops how she was Cyclops. supposed to act Cyclops. like and not some Cyclops. Act, Cyclops. 
Not only was how to like like even how she was supposed to stand in certain moves, she knew that stuff going in. So obviously she had to read the comic books. And if a singer's telling them, well, well I don't well, want one because she was she was well she well a because she was a she was a fan of that character already. That was first and foremost. She already knew what it was, mm -hmm. and above all of that, she fought because they didn't want that. What she did, they didn't want that. She fought for that. She was like, yeah. look. This is what I, you're not going to have me. She she was basically basically she what she was saying was you're not going to have me out here on front street looking crazy, <laughs> and having these fans come at me with with, <laughs> the, with the bullshit and and me not misrepresenting this character not being you're not doing it to me. This is who she is. This is who she's supposed to be, and this is what I'm doing. And her and her level of stardom allowed her that that allowed her that leeway to be like look. This this is what's necessary. You you you. She basically she wasn't gonna be embarrassed. You wasn't gonna mess up her good name with the fans. She already had a fan base, and she wasn't having it. You can't, you can't, She wasn't you can't having it. Rough, rough. Y'all was rough. <laughs> She's like, I want someone, I want someone to dress up as me. Like, I want someone to dress up as me for ho for Halloween. You're not gonna have me looking crazy with you know, exactly. You y'all want to be purple? You're not gonna have me in black leather. She's like, I want to. Yeah. I want people cosplaying as me in yeah, the exactly. next comic con. No, no, yeah. that makes that, that that makes it. Yeah. So I mean, Brian Brian Singh is a control freak, and like I said, I'm not gonna say that I didn't enjoy the especially X2. I'm not gonna say I didn't enjoy that. I'm not gonna say I didn't enjoy Days of Future Past. I'm not gonna say that because I did. I'm not gonna say I didn't enjoy the first X Men. What I what I'm saying is. When those movies came out, I had nothing to compare them to. I mean, I already knew this other than the comics. Wait, wait, wait. Let me finish. Other than the comics, of course. So at that point, my disappointment was already there for that. But it's like, okay, so the movie's out. But see, then here comes the other movies. Uh, uh, you know, let's let's just bring the MCU again. Prove that. Now you, you have something to compare it to. Right, and it all they proved was, you can do that. You could you you could you could rely on the comic source material. Mm -hmm. You don't have to make a million and one changes, and it's still going to be enjoyable. It's still going, and it's even better because now the characters have depth to them. The characters have depth to them. I mean, just look at look at Iron Man in itself. They took Iron Man, and they took him from his nineteen fifties or sixties character when he was the big bulky you know mock mock one they took that character brought it into it took that character as a a frankenstein mech mm -hmm. brought it into today's brought it into today's time and still made it relevant to the story made so they, 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 they and, still and, took, and they paid still took homage the to material. all the different exactly all the different uh yeah. prototypes all the different mock versions that he did and, and and it changed every time you saw and Iron I'm, Man. I'm, I'm, every I'm single cool. time you saw Iron Man, he had a different. It, it was an advanced version of his. Of his that suit. different suit. And yeah. the, and see, but that's but that's what I'm talking about. And, and like that, like that, that right there. I really sit there and think that's because they were looking. Now the real long game is going on. They're looking to not just Iron Man, but everybody else that he, Iron Man is around. That that's what I'm right. saying. Whereas Spider Man, I, that's, but that's everybody else that Iron Man's around in his universe. Get you this, I get, I get you there. Let's, but, but, let's say they didn't do the other movies, and all they did was the three Iron Man movies. I forget about that third one, the second, the two Iron now, Man movies. Then, then, exactly. Right. Then, then, do do they run the same route as I'm saying with Sony and Fox did with their no. probably? They just kept no. that Iron Man without without thinking the long term. Not. That that we no. are going to no, but Ralph, that's I'll tell you why. Ralph, that's because, because because you don't have a base because you you don't have a basis, you don't have a base. Yes, no, you like, do. What are you talking like, about? Like, yes, you do, Ralph. Like, like, look, look, Iron look, Man. Look, look, look at it said. like this. Wait, a minute, look at it like this. Take 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 the take the original Batman movies. Take the original Batman movies. Are the Batman movies or Superman movies ever supposed to interconnect with each other? No, I there's mean, there. There, 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 there is absolutely there is absolutely no references, no way, shape, or form that the 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 no, wait, wait, the, wait, 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 before you say that, that, that don't say there's no references because in, um 
there was a there was a movie what what movie where they said the um the the it was one of the Batman movies. So I think right. they said the circus right, right. is right. Right. It's halfway to Metropolis by now. Superman. That's a this reference. That's a Superman, Superman reference. This is, that's a Superman. Yeah, this is where this is why Superman. This is why Superman works alone. This is why Superman works alone. But what I'm saying is, is that Warner right, Brothers Superman works alone. That and, and, he, and they mentioned right. Metropolis and halfway to Metropolis. You know, that's all Superman references. But go ahead. But, right. but here's, here's but, the point. Here's what I'm saying. At that point in time, mm-hmm. at that point in time, they were not thinking about, or at least trying, possibly, possibly not thinking about interconnecting Batman and Superman. So they kept it Batman's universe. And Superman's universe. There wasn't no Batman Superman floating together. So with what you just said about the Iron Man, I really believe that if the this the universe the the Marvel Cinematic Universe never went into existence, that Paramount would have just had Iron Man and whatever is by itself. And maybe they would have made a whole bunch of changes to make it look no, right. no, it would no, because they, what they would have did you was also have to take into account who was behind the project. If you had someone that was a fan of the comic book, or if you had someone behind the movie that said, "I'm just making now he's changing it up the movie," <laughs> th- 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 those are all the factors you got to encounter there, also, right? But Ralph, now, obviously, obviously John Favreau was a fan of the comic book, right? Right, but also Ralph, here's the, it's the same point with Spider Man. Spider Man, the, the point that you're the point I think that you're missing with what I'm saying is when I say the long game. I say the long game, meaning the long game for that character and everything that's in the universe of that character, meaning specifically the Spider-Man. So even if you just say Batman, everything that's that everything that's particular to Batman, Mr. Freeze, Penguin, Catwoman, Riddler, all of that stuff that's that's specific to Batman. The same thing with Spider-Man, uh, the the, the uh, 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 the Green Goblin, the Hobgoblin. Uh, 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 Mysterio. Everything is everything that's relevant to Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. That's that's the long game. The long game of those stories are there are different stories to Spider-Man than just Spider-Man's origin story. It's the same so, thing with Iron so, Man. The yeah. Iron Man you could go on. Iron Man you could go on I, with the I, Mandarin. I, 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 and, 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 and 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 that's without tying in. That's without any tying other in anybody else. And, and what, without, I, what I what I, I want to add to you. Let me let me add to that, Kev. What, now, this is where I, I feel I 100% disagree with you, Ralph. You're saying, and you can correct me if, I, if I'm misinterpreting what you're saying. So you're, you're saying that had they not have, if it wasn't for the other films being tied in, they possibly wouldn't have followed the source material with Iron Man and made changes and things like that. And it would have been like the same thing as the other, st- the other, um, other studios. I disagree with that. No, it doesn't matter about bringing because Iron Man alone is a standalone film. No matter what, it's still a standalone film. So Iron Man alone, and now what I do, the part that I agree with you with is, yes, it's who's behind the film. The filmmakers and, of course, Kevin Feige. All right, let's just say they didn't decide to bring in the other films, right? Mm -hmm. The Iron Man films would have still been the exact same way because the film itself had nothing to do. The first Iron Man, they didn't even mention nothing about the MCU in it like that. Well, you know, you you understand what I'm saying. It was a standalone film. So, yes, we know that they were doing this MCU, but let's say they wasn't. They still would have made the movie like that. And it still would have been eons. It would have been tons better than the other studios' films and, because and, they followed the source material. Period. And actually, to expand, and to, and, and to expand, and to expand. And, and what, what I'm expand, going to say, and I'm, at, I'm actually glad that... Mm-hmm. And to expand on Wes's I'm, I'm point. I'm actually glad that you said it like that. Mm-hmm. And to expand on Wes's point of what he just said, at the end of Spider-Man, I mean, at the end of Iron Man, Nick Fury's next thing was supposed to be what Nick Fury was supposed to say. He wasn't supposed to talk about the Avengers Initiative. His next, it actually what, it leading up to the Avengers Initiative, he was supposed to, what he said was as if radioactive spiders, mutants with powers, and blah blah, I'm power, kind of paraphrasing what, what he originally was supposed to say, but they mm-hmm. had to cut it out because they had to cut it out because they didn't have the rights to right. those that was what he was originally stuff. supposed to say. Yeah, he was supposed to lead to all of that stuff. But like, like uh, Ralph. So now, 
like I said, that the portion of you saying I agree with is what you said. It depends on the, the, the filmmakers behind it. Yes, that definitely had a big impact on it. But it wasn't, it, it seems to me that you were saying that they only followed the source material because of the uh, the the MCU, the whole plan for the MCU. If Iron Man was a standalone film and they didn't make any more other films that connected or they didn't cross him over to any more other films, they still would have made it the way they made it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. And, and they and actually that, didn't come that, up. They actually didn't that, come and up that with is the idea. part where I just. Dis- that is the part where I disagree. I don't think but that they what, would what, have. What, what, because, what, because, and why do you don't think because, that though? Give me some because, give me some because, rationale behind that thought. One one rationale is as you said, at that point in time, they would have at that point in time, a lot of the studios still weren't taking comic books serious. They still weren't seeing them as no, real legitimate they money did, Yes, but we, they we, did. We, wait, 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 stop, stop. Wait, stop. We, we you they they knew Batman. And Superman was going to be successful. They knew Spider-Man would be successful. But from what you two told me, Iron Man is a B character. He is not an A-list. They did. They he, would he not was, have. He was in the comics, yeah. In the comics. So, 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 so they may have went into making that saying, we're going to make this movie, but we don't actually know if it's going to be a box office titan or if it's going to be a box office titan. We're, we're taking a they shot. They didn't know we're that. We're just going to take they a shot and that. make it. So I don't. I, 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 they didn't. They did so. I I don't mean this is me saying I don't think that they would have had the utmost of confidence in it. Now that's the studio studio aspect. But as I said before, depending on who well, I, would have I, made, I, I can tell you off the rip that they right. didn't. Not to cut you off, I can tell you off the rip they didn't have confidence in it. They didn't have because they didn't even want Robert Downey Jr. They didn't even want Robert Downey Jr. to play well, the character. That, that that but they didn't want Robert Downey Jr. for a totally different reason. It wasn't it wasn't that. It's a totally different reason why they want Robert Downey Jr. Well, and I mean, I I'm just that's part, of, but that's part of it. I'm just saying that's part of the, no, that, that, the that, dynamic that. of of that's part of the insecurities of all of it. They stood it in no. That still goes back to them not knowing if this thing is going to be a hit, especially with Robert Downey Jr. tied to it. You understand what I'm saying? It still goes into right. them being not confident I, if this is going to be a box office smash like it was. But the point is this: I, Why was it a box office smash, Ralph? Because of the story. Because of the way the story flowed, it had nothing to do be- with the MCU, with the rest of the films. It, that was the first film in the MCU. It didn't have nothing to do with those other films. It was a it, it was a box office smash because it was done right. It, it was, was done right. Standalone film done I, right. But I st- I st- but I still think that even when they were making it, that they that the people behind it, which was Paramount at the time. Had a bigger agenda that no, it wasn't no, just Paramount, going to no, Paramount be. didn't. No, Paramount did not have a b- bigger agenda. Uh, they probably had an agenda to probably make another film, but they, mm-hmm. they, their scope, their scope, their scope of that wasn't MC was wasn't what it ended up being once Disney mm-hmm. took over. The whole yeah, because, and even was, if you watch that, you, if you watch I, I, the casting director, the casting director, I forget her name, she talked about that too. She talked about kind of like that dynamic because when she was hired to cast the film, she she never she never knew that she was going to end up casting the entire universe. You know what I mean? Like until later on, she 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 found out a little bit later down the scope of that. But the point is, all right, and and this is you know we we can we can end it on this because. Your opinion is your opinion. That's what you believe, but I believe you're wrong, and I and and you haven't really shown me any any proof that 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 they would have not made a good you know film by following the source material, and if if it was if if there that was is, no that MCU, is, that, that is once once again once again that is not what I said. What I said was what you said was I, I know what you said. What you what you said was it, you said that you believe that if that they had. They had a bigger agenda with the other films involved. And if that wasn't in play, perhaps they wouldn't have made the film the way they made it. That's basically what you said. That is that that that, that is what I'm saying. What I do because that's that, crazy, one, though. That, this, the the no, film because, is still its because, own film. Because at that right? at that point in time at that point in time, nobody was thinking about inter- interconnection. They're thinking about just that, right? 
But, so okay, but, but, but what I, fir- what I firmly believe is that when I keep saying the Marvel Cinematic Universe, that somebody before in the development of Iron Man, they didn't just say we're going to develop Iron Man, we're going to develop these characters, we're going to create leading up to the Avengers. They already had a plan, so there was a plan in place before it actually, it anybody shot one stick of footage. Okay. Not not for not for not, not for, yeah. not for uh, um not not for what it to, not for what it came out to be. It let's, doesn't it let's, doesn't expect to that. Give that. that. Let's fact. even give you that. I, I want to see. I got I got they, something. To, I got some way to go with this. I'll give you that, Ralph. Okay, they, let's say they did have a plan. What does that have to do with how they wrote the film? That doesn't have anything to do with how they wrote the film. But I think the thought behind the film is that that we we are looking at a. A bigger picture. We're not just looking to make an Iron Man movie, and that's going to be it. We are creating an entire world that's going to that's going to lump all these people, and there has to be some right. sense of continuity, right? But, so, so no, right. make making major changes from the source material can't fly anymore because it has to be it has to be one continuous line. But what I do believe so, is that if that if that was not discussed from Jump Street, then no, it wouldn't because at that time people weren't really. It, Beyond Batman, and Superman, people were not taking comic books movies very seriously. They really well, they, I, I, so. I, I, so I what you so wait wait I got wait 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 so so what you're saying that, is so what you're saying that, is people are not so it's not possible that someone just finally came along and said you know what I'm gonna follow these stories because they're good. <laughs> it's, about, it's just about, it's just because they're looking at how, the how bigger how picture. Kevin Feige was a producer. How about how Kevin Feige was a producer on, on those other films, on those other Spider-Man films, on 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 the on the uh, on the uh, uh, on on the, the second Fox films film. or whatever, or the Spider-Man films, whichever ones uh, he on took. He was on the non MC. He was a producer on non MCU films. Guess yeah. what? He saw where they went wrong and he corrected it. Period. 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 He saw where so, they went wrong, and he so, corrected so, it. So, so, once, so once again, does that mean that somebody began to say that comic book movies can be taken seriously? That there has to be more thought into it? That no, you don't just do it as a Spider-Man movie and that's it. That it's a bigger picture. Or do you say, well, Ralph... This is what this is what annoys me about you. You go on for a, a, a million years and you come back and say the exact same thing that I said. <laughs> that's exactly what I said. You know, it's like it's like this, it's like this thing. I would, but that's what but that's what I that's what I've been saying now for the last hour. I've been saying the thing, the same thing over and over again for the last hour. I even no. said, this what, is my what, you, what you said. What you said was that's right. My, what you said. But what I'm my, saying is, I said opinion. to you that this is your opinion, and then I said to you, you, you said, you said to me, and I said that I disagree. You said to me because if you watch Iron Man and you cut out the end credit scene, how is it even tied to the MCU? It's still its own that movie. Not, not, no, no. What I said was that there was a plan. It wasn't just to make one Iron Man or two Iron Man three movies. Okay. You were making a universe that so somebody, somebody from Paramount or Marvel at the time said, wait, 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 wait. universe oh, too, no. Ralph. There was universes in Fox. The, the X-Men it, was, universe? It, it wasn't it was not to the scope that Marvel of or course, Paramount. Of course Paramount. it's not, but, and but I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to go by your point, Ralph. There was a there was a universe. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Because you're not making you know, Ralph, you're, you're not you're, one we're, hour we're, and fifteen minutes. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. No, we're I'm we're, we're be done. But you're not making your point, Ralph. You're not you're not backing up your point because facts. Because every single time I try to try to back up my point, my thought, I keep getting just said, no, Ralph, you're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. How can someone whose opinion be wrong? If that's what I personally think. Okay. You, that's you, what you personally think, but you're wrong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just arguing with you, Ralph. <laughs> because... I don't understand. I don't understand how to <laughs> okay. I think Rosario Dawson's my future you know ex-wife, what? but I'm wrong. <laughs> So, but you're real wrong with that one. <laughs> so I'm just saying, but I think it. How can I be wrong? That's my opinion. So, people can still have an opinion and to be I, wrong. And then, and then, I, then, I, then I get you say, okay, okay. Then I get you with like, okay, Wes, where's your facts? Uh, you you got a phone number? Uh, 
something. I can, I can, I can say. Well, I always actually I say uh, Maya is my future ex wife. That's what I usually say. And my fact is, I got pictures with her. <laughs> but you got her phone. <laughs> I got her Instagram, <laughs> just like every of all the other million fans. You got a phone. So do you got her phone number? So do you got her phone number where you can call her? Say, hey, Maya, what's up? Who talks? Who talks Maya, on the Maya, phone Maya, now, Maya. anyway? Who talks on the phone now anyway? It's the new, it's the 21st century, man. We do social media, we do Instagram. That's all we do. So, but you can still, my point is, Ralph, I'm just being, I'm just being silly. My point is, yes, you're entitled to your opinion, but opinions can be wrong. I'm <laughs> not, you, 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 you are, you are absolutely right. Opinions can right. be wrong. And for all you know, I could be wrong, and all you know that you be wrong. I'm just looking at what yeah. I believe, what I what I what I, what I even know from films. L looking at films for forty something years, looking mm -hmm. at uh, at other pieces of source material that have been translated from the book or comic book or music to the big screen. All, look at all these things, and the, a lot of them makes changes, make changes in, they do. in it, and they do. They make it for cinematic things. But what I'm what I'm Okay, Still with that being this. said, and you, you're one of the, when, when you, you're it, one of the it, favorites. Go ahead, finish your thought. Finish your thought, and then right. I'm, I'm going to I'm going to put you comes to, to, But when it specifically comes to, to this matter about, and we're really talking about the Marvel Cinematic Universe, what I think happened is that when they began development of the Iron Man movie, right, that they went into saying we're not just going to do Iron Man. We have a we have an agenda. We think we would like to do all all these other characters as well in their own individual movies and tie them into the Avengers. I think somebody said that might be a good idea. So what happened is is that the idea that they all had to connect in some kind of way comes into place. So no, they weren't just going to make a offshoot like an Iron Man one. And somewhere down the line, they ever came up to do another movie within that when he was tied into it, it had the form where he could just float into it. What I think that is that if that idea was, was never formulated, that everything would not match up. There would be all these different changes, and specifically with the Spider Man, because the, the filmmakers of the 2008s would have went with what was going on with the Spider Man and Batman. Then they would they would have made their changes and kept it, and they may have made these major changes, minor changes to the original source material. But somebody and, has said, hey, "Why we do can't you think that?" But why do you think that? Because because every because every at least to my knowledge, every single comic book made, movie made up to before Iron Man has changes in it. Whether it's the costume, the story, the storyline, or something, there's some sort of major change in each and every single movie. That's that's my interpretation of it. Mine's. No. Okay, but uh, like I said, there's always a change in all the movies. Iron Man, all the MCU movies had changes too. It's not, and and it goes back to what we've been saying for a millionth time. It's not about has to be shot for shot, panel for panel word for word. It's following the story arc of the source material. And you're saying that you believe that if it wasn't a big picture of tying in these other films in the MCU, that they wouldn't have done that with Iron Man. But you have no basis of that. You have that's, nothing that's, to back that, that up. That, that, is, that, is, that, is, that is just my opinion. I think they just would have made an Iron Man movie where they have used the source material <laughs> Possibly, it possible. Would they have stuck? To, to, no, wait a minute, let me rephrase that. Would they have used the source material? Yes. Would yeah. they have stuck? That's even the other films, the source, the source material. Source material. That's, yeah. the, that's and and that, so yes, they would have used source material. Would they have stuck to the course, the source material exclusively, and not made major or minor changes? That's where my that's where my comment say no, they wouldn't have. They would have made changes. They would have made it. The reason why, the reason why I don't agree it. with you. The reason why I don't agree with you is because. I think it's I, I. You're actually contradicting half of what you said because you said that it also depends on the person behind it. Like for instance, Favreau or that's right. Feige, they're, right? They're, so let's just say, that's right. Let's just say, that, that doesn't mean that Favreau and Feige right. wouldn't have produced Iron Man. Maybe Disney wouldn't have greenlit the MCU, and they still would have produced fine because that they are fans of the comic. Because they're fans of the character, they still would have followed the arcs. 
Maybe. So maybe you're contradicting but, but that, half of what you no, said. No, yes, that's, you are. You said what, it depends on what, the, the what person. You, what, you are saying, what you are saying now all falls into the realm of maybe. Maybe they no, would. It doesn't. Maybe they would. It doesn't because there's fact on this. Because just look at go look at any interview with any of these people. There's a fact on that. They follow. This they're the filmmakers, and this is how they was gonna make the film. And we know that Kevin Feige was involved with the other with some of the non MCU films, so he knows what that life was like. He knows what that was on that side of the coin. He could have very well came and said, and he's in charge. He's in charge, at MCU. So he could have very well said, let's do what we were doing then. But he and didn't actually, because it wasn't actually, right. And actually, there were there were times where Kevin Feige made suggestions and he was in the room and they completely ignored him. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, back, back, back in those days, right. So being that he was in charge and we know that he was in charge of that situation, he knew that the, the way to make this the big phenomenon is, is, is to be able to bring in the casual fan and but really, really service the fans of the characters, especially like you said, especially with a character like Iron Man, because you you know they appreciate it, right? But he knew the way to correct this. It's it's to be. I don't even know why this is such an argument because it's very simple. You have a man who was involved in non-MCU stuff, pre-MCU film productions, right? Now you have the yeah, MCU. He's, he's, got a that, lot. he's got a lot. Right. <clears throat> exactly. Now you have the MCU where he's actually in charge. He has the final say. He is doing, he, he decided at that point whether you continue the other films or not. Because remember this. Like I said, if you watch the, the, the interviews with the with the casting director who ended up casting all of the films, but at first they were only focused on Iron Man. They wasn't sure if they were going to be doing the rest of the MCU and, and put them all together. They weren't sure of that yet. You can watch that's a fact. That's all that's documented. I know that you can watch that, that is that is a okay. fact. Because so they, so they that's were, just what I'm saying. This is, not, this is this is kind of smashing were. what you're saying. Because that's a no, fact. No, that's not. a documented fact. Because you said you right. believe that it was it was it was set that way from the beginning, and that's why they wrote the film the way they wrote it. But that's not fact. That's not fact. They 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 still was looking at this for what it was a cert, a standalone film. Possibilities. I'm sure they they kicked it around. I'm sure they probably said yes. This is what I would like to do. But it wasn't it wasn't written in stone yet. It was not written in stone yet. Which is probably why that that whole Nick Fury thing was an after credit scene and not incorporated incorporated in the movie. Because when they was doing the movie, that would have been in there if that was the case. You know what? I, so, I got a better idea. Th th there's only one way to legitimately solve this. We got to get Kevin Feige on the show. That's yes, just we it. do. Yes, we, we gotta do. <laughs> we got to get Kevin Feige on the show and ask him That's and get him. And get it. But like I said, of course because, you're entitled because, to your opinion. Because he, I'm also entitled to not agree with your opinion. And I think I think one has nothing to do with the other. Yes, you're right. I think you're those right. filmmakers were just doing it wrong, and these filmmakers were just doing it right. Doing it right. That plain and simple. They they took what they had and they yeah. corrected it. They made it better. And that's and, and it's the proof's in the pudding, Ralph. The proof is in the sales. The proof no, is in the, I'm, the box I'm look, office. I'm looking at I'm looking at Kevin, I'm looking at Kevin Foggy's buyer right this second. Of the feature mm -hmm. films that he did before the creation of what is now known as Marvel Cinematic Universe, and you're right, he he did work. He was a producer on, on X Men, he was on Spider Man, a co-producer for Dead Devil X Two, the Hulk. He was the, the Ang Lee. He yeah. was an executive producer. Yeah. Punch he was involved the, almost all the way. He was through, involved yeah. in everything. So it it's gave him the knowledge to, to do. That's to do right. right. I think I think that he was the guy that's that said to say, wait, 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 man. That we got we got to if this is going to work, we gotta have it, we gotta do a couple of things. Yeah. We, yeah, we gotta no, we gotta no, do a couple I, things. No, I just now, told Ralph, now, I told now, you when it when Ralph, it, when it came down. You, I just told you today, and we spoke on this about uh, several months ago, or maybe about a year ago, that we said this about Kevin Feige. Kevin Feige was in the room 
with Laura, I think it's Laura Shirley Donner, and not Laura Shirley Donner, um, what's the other lady? What's the other lady? Uh, not Amy, Amy Pascal, is that her name? Um, that has to do with Spider Man. He was Maybe. under her, he mm-hmm. was under her. Now, Kevin Fahey, his specific words were, I was in the room. I said to them, physically out of his mouth, he said, why don't you guys just go with the source material? Go with what, go with what's already written. He said he got blank stares across the room. Who changed it? Would just carry on. Who changed, who, who changed it? Who changed it? It doesn't matter who changed it. It wasn't him. Whoever changed was, it, was it, was it, was probably, it, was it, it was probably, it was probably Singer. If we, when it comes to X Men, it was probably probably by Brian Singer because Brian Singer, like I said, it's control freak. He likes to have, especially after he was successful. You know, he had usual suspects. Or other you know, he wanted to have full control. He's, like, I'm gonna do this film and have full control because once again, that's still a launch film. You know, no one has ever seen the X Men on on screen before, mm-hmm. so it's a big deal, right? So you know he made sure. He, so it was probably Brian Singer who made, it was just like Brian, Avia Brian. Rod, just like Avia Rod, uh, Amy Pascal, and the other guy had total creative control over Spider Man, and they mm-hmm. did not want to listen to anybody else. Right. So that that's that's the point, and that's that's where we 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 start there. We we should have we should have just brought that point up from the beginning. If Kevin Feige, who's who was involved with those pre MCU films, and he actually tried to put his input in saying, hey, guys, here's a comic book. If he's not sure what to do, <laughs> we got it. You know what I'm saying? And they ignored him. So he took, he he when he finally got his, his opportunity, he made it right. He went and got a comic book Case and said, closed. this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. Case closed. It, I, you know, and, and that's it. Case closed. He, he, he decided, I'm going to do it this way. When he had his opportunity, he did this way, and guess what? It was obviously the right way because look at the MCU and all of the money it's made. So on every level, he proved that you could cater to the comic book fan, follow the arc, and still be a very successful, even more successful franchise than when you don't cater to the comic book fan. Why? Because I will guess tonight, and thank you to AJ... Perez for coming on. Our guest tonight actually said the same thing. If you could just, you got to service the fans because they're the ones that's going to keep the films going because they're going to watch the films multiple times. The mm-hmm. casual movie goer, except for maybe someone like yourself, Ralph, because you're just a good, you know, you're a big movie guy, but the casual movie goer is not going to go see the film more than once. They're going to see it once in the thick. But the, 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 the money is made from the return films, for the return people that's going to see it two, three, four times. And that's what was happening with the MCU. And and and, 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 and in most cases, that. and in most cases, and in most cases, you have fans who in, in the early days of these films, especially once it started getting towards the once the film started getting better and better, you had fans saying, Hey, listen, guys, we're all gonna go out and see this movie 10 times so we can make it so we can beat Avatar. <laughs> yeah, only that's how do that. That's that's how much right. Only fans do that. That's how much loyalty that was. That's that was the loyalty that the fans gave back to the producers of Kevin Feige and the whole team over there at the MCU. They gave that back to them because of what he did for us. Exactly. So exactly. that's the point. He proved that. The fans, if you cater to the fans of that universe, whatever it is, you're going to be even more successful than if you just make it any we're old going way. To, we're going to yeah. buy the, we're the, going to go see it in the movies day. 10 times. We're going to download it and get it digitally or by Blu ray or DVD, whatever we got to do a million times. And then when we're watching it on TV with commercials, we're going to stop watching it on TV with commercials and switch over to our DVDs or our digital downloads. Or if we don't have it, we're going to rent it. We, we, so we're going the, to spend the, the money. Right. You're going to spend the money. And that's, that's, that was the get, that was the gamble that he, that he was, that was the bet he made and it paid off tenfold. It paid off, and that's that. We're not going to do the, the the Tom Hanks Denzel thing today because we, we're already <laughs> over, obviously we're at the end of the show. But um, you know, we, I want to thank 
once again, AJ uh, Perez for coming on. You know, uh, that's that's his name. I always call, I always knew him as Tony Perez. I always called him Tony Perez. That's why I keep stumbling on his name because I know him as Tony Perez. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that's the you know. Where did you get Tony from, AJ? His name is Anthony because his name's Anthony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, his name is Anthony. But um, yeah. So that's how I always, that's how I always knew him. And we go way back, as you see when when he came on. You know, we he distributed my first. He he actually put me in stores. The first time I've ever been able to be retail was because of Tony Perez or AJ Perez. It was because of him because he put my my show Block TV on the shelves of Target. Uh, some mom and pop stores, uh, you know, it's, it's still available on Amazon, <clears throat> you know, so, um, you know, big up to him for that. And it was good having him on, getting his insight on things. And I'm hoping I could bring him on more frequently to get his opinion on some of these things because everything is going to unfold now. I love how he brought up the fact about, you know, back end money and deals and mm-hmm. stuff like that, because those are things that people don't think about. Yeah, because we're fans, right? So on the surface, we really just want to see the movie or whatever the case may be. But he brought up good points, you know, bringing up those things because, and it kind of makes sense to why Nolan would make the, in which we kind of figured why he would make the stink that he make because, yeah. you know, that would hurt. That would hurt him. Now he's already done Tenant and made his. You know, I have to commend him for making that much money during a pandemic, three hundred million. I mean, he, he obviously he was looking to make a billion from it. So he's nowhere near where, I mean, he pretty much got his budget back probably. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And and I, have, I, I, I got notes that I have written down for tonight's show that because I, I thought we were going to get a chance to really get dig into the Nolan thing. Mm-hmm. And that was some of my, that's why I was kind of sort of glad that AJ brought some of that stuff up. That mm-hmm. was one of the things that I was going to say is that, you know, uh, uh, he's mostly salty because his back end money is kind of being affected a little bit. Of course. And a, well, that the one thing well, I would be, yeah. The, one, yeah. the one thing I did want to say about Nolan is that he said in the article that, oh, this the, these movies are supposed. You're 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 basically. I'm paraphrasing what he said, but basically he's saying that, oh, you're robbing the crowd of the cinematic experience. Uh, th- th- this is meant for the audience. Well, yeah. jackass, the audience is at home <laughs> in front of their smaller screens, right? Or inside so, yeah, so, big so basically, he suggests he's suggesting. That you just hold it off forever until if ever. So what happened? Right. What what they're thinking is, what happens if this thing, if, if the movie theaters never come back? I mean, it's it's possible. It's 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 probable. It's not one hundred percent probable, but it's possible that this could be the end of movie theaters. And, and not only that, he's the other thing. He's not the other thing. He's and the other thing I called him was selfish, is because the other thing he's yeah he's thinking about his back end. But he's also not thinking about how his back end is also going to be affected by the studio holding on to these films and the interest that they're occurring mm-hmm. for the time period that the films are not making money. Mm-hmm. The, 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 they're, they're occurring interest on these loans that mm-hmm. they have to pay back. So you want to get back. you, you yep. want to get these things out and make some kind of profit right. to where you can, you know, to, to, to where you can cover. You know, you could cover your your expenses. Remember, because co- Tony brought that up. He said he mentioned about how you know a certain uh, who who was it that was uh, put up seventy five percent of the money for some oh, of these uh, films. Uh, uh, was it uh, uh, Try uh, legendary films. Legendary, legendary films. Yeah, <clears throat> legendary. Yeah. So I'm saying, like, like you said, the, the 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 luxury that Disney holds is that they have their own money. They don't need to borrow money from anybody. You know, <laughs> so that Even that's the luxury do. that Disney holds, right? Um, you know, so yeah, so yeah, Nolan, Nolan, I agree with you, Kev. He was, he was very, you know, that's a selfish statement, but what are you going to do? You know, I mean, you're saying, and you're trying to, don't, it's like this, just say what you, what's really on your mind. Don't try to camouflage and act like you exactly. care about the fans. Get the fuck out of here with that. You okay? <laughs> don't, don't have that, the fans deserve. Now, if you, now what he said about the other filmmakers, they work this hard and they want the, they want the films to be shown on the big screen. I get that. That's you making a statement saying, "Yo, you know, I, I feel like they should, they deserve to have it played on the big screen because they work hard." Blah, okay. blah, blah. I'm not. I'm, I'm okay with him saying that. Yes, That's yes. And, and, he, he, and he got a fact. But right now, where 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 are the big screens? The big screens are in people's houses. Right. There's nowhere. There's, there's nowhere. 
There, yeah, yeah, there's, there's nowhere to go to see it now. So what is a person, what is a, a studio to do? You know, because 2021 is a few, you know, a couple weeks away, right? So in a, in a few Literally weeks, three weeks away, right? In three weeks is 2021, right? So going forward with that, 2021 comes, uh, you know, these, these pandemic numbers ain't nowhere near going down. They're still going up. So when does it start reversing? Maybe mid 2021, if we're lucky, it's the, 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 the numbers start to reverse. And then you got to go through a whole, probably another year of just clean up and getting everything down to a respectable thing and everybody feeling comfortable about going back to theaters. And I guess maybe they'll get a vaccine out and people, some people will take it and this, that, and the other. And maybe then, but you're yes, talking a easy two years. Two years, easy. Easy. Listen, people are more Before you can like put those early. movies out and expect to make your money that you want to make. Exactly, because right now people are more concerned with going clothes shopping and eating at a restaurant than they are with sitting in a movie theater behind somebody that's probably going to be coughing down their neck. <laughs> They're not trying to do that. <laughs> so, with that being said, <clears throat> we'll um, we're going to get ready to end the show. Um, we'll, we'll next next week we'll cover the you know the the second round of the. Um, Denzel Tom Hanks thing, but it was funny though. It, it, it was it was funny today, man. I had to I had to get at you, Ralph, when when, when Tony mentioned that though. Yeah, <laughs> you know what? You know, I couldn't I'm, resist. I'm actually, you know something? I'm actually glad because as, as you've been sitting here talking for the last five minutes, I'm reading this whole thing about Iron Man, right? Mm -hmm. The development and all the stuff. Man, it seems Iron Man went through a whole bunch of things before it even got into the hands. Uh, John Favreau, and even after then, there was still yeah. changes made. I didn't know mm -hmm. Iron Man was an East Coast based based comic book. Yes, bro. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They still made changes. Change There's always going to be changes. That's 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 never that's unavoidable. The, the now the 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 100 diehard fanboys that's that's that complains about every little stupid change, and I don't even like those people that complain about every stupid little change. I mean, there's going to be changes. It's, it's impossible. I adapted uh, I, twice. I adapted a book to uh, a film. Yeah, twice. Of course, there has to not, be changes. Not even, you know what I'm saying? Some changes. I'm sitting here, sitting here looking at that the Iron Man script has been the, the idea to bring Iron Man to the screen has been around since 1990. And first, it was Universal, then Fox, then. Uh, 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 new line, then somewhere Quentin Tarantino was approached to it, and then Josh Whedon, and like, like God, so many different things went into this. And in, from 1990 yeah. to 2000, when they start shooting, to 2007, se 17 years, 17 mm -hmm. years to get this thing, and the people that they wanted to actually be in the movie. I mean, mm -hmm. Nicholas Cage. Oh, oh, so much, nigga. So many people came through this thing, and like I said, they have a, they have like a whole MCU breakdown. And there's a lot of interviews out there you can watch with different people. That the, the cast and director to me is one of the best people to tell the stories to because she was, you know, in there casting, and they were going through so many people. She talks about how they kept coming back to Robert. It it it, it, it kind of just came back to Robert. It was really. It was really uh, uh, Favreau that wanted. Uh, he he, was, he 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 championed. Yeah, he, he made championed it down. For, he, he, he really wanted Downey. Uh, the studio didn't want Downey at all, and you knew. And we Downey all know didn't that. want to do it. From, from what I'm, if yeah, what yeah, I'm reading, yeah. if what I'm reading is correct. That well, yeah. and Downey didn't. Downey didn't want to do it because he couldn't get insured. It was because of the, the, the one one of the reasons is because of the, the him get, being able to be insured. Yeah, that is the reason because right. he could, he didn't think he could, he could insure him mm -hmm. because of his yeah. past. I think I think at the time he was like pretty bad. much fresh out of jail. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was fresh out of jail and just all of his all of his past antics. Yeah, like they they, they just yeah. they they he couldn't be trusted to carry through a production yeah. and it not end up losing money. So yep. the, the insurance on him was high. It was really yeah. high for the insurance. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. I want to make this um quick, uh, not announcement, but I want to I want to throw this idea out there before we we're gonna end the show in like two seconds. Um, 
on our show on the 21st, since we're doing the versus thing, why don't we do in in the in the uh, spirit of Christmas? Let's do Christmas Christmas movie versus a Christmas movie. So if it's like Die Hard versus something else or something, like that, why don't we do a versus in that in that vein? Um, there's only one know, movie that could be Die Hard. There's only one since Grinch stole Christmas. There's only, there's what, only what, one what, what, movie that I, that I think can be Die Hard, and that's Bad Santa. That's it. That's it. <laughs> that's it. Sorry, not the Grinch. That's probably that's Bad that's Santa. That's probably facts. <laughs> Bad Santa. <laughs> that was awesome. Um, you know, maybe we'll do. You know, I, I'm gonna try to figure out a good way to do it. But between now and next week, let's try to. I'm throwing it out there so you guys can throw some ideas at me. Let's try to figure out how to make this interesting. Uh, as far as uh, versus, or you know, Christmas movies or whatever. Maybe I don't know if we'll do it as far as because we can't. Obviously, it's one of those things. It's like with Meryl Streep, right? Like we can't put nothing up against Die Hard because it's gonna lose. So we got to find out well, a more craft. Wait, 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 wait. I'm very admin. And it's like, but could you really put something up against Die Hard? Well, I die, mean, it depends. Can you put Lethal Weapon hard against Die Hard? Lethal Weapon? Don't kiss goodnight? Kiss, what about Lethal Weapon? Kiss, what about kiss, Lethal kiss Lethal bang, Lethal bang, bang? I mean, there's a lot of them that you can do. And it's just, you know, but how, do we, how do we battle them? It's, uh, that's the question. That's what I'm just trying to figure it out. Like, what are we doing? We're, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. I just want to throw that out there. I want to do something in the spirit of Christmas that week. That'll be our Christmas show. You know, and probably our final show. I mean, we might even do one on the twenty. I don't care. You know me. I don't, the twenty eighth is a good time for us to do the final show. Oh, um, I got that show. That, that that's where uh, that's where we're going to do the, 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 that's the, year. the top five or top ten hottest women on TV. That's when oh. that's when we're going to that's when we do the top five or top ten hot, hot, hottest chicks on television. And I'm already oh, prepared. I'm prepared. I'm prepared. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I'm prepared. I'm prepared. I'm prepared. I got it. I got it. It's a lot of shows. I got to start j- jumping back in and watching some of these new oh, shows. And, and while I'm yeah. while I'm thinking about that particular subject, because I went through every and I mean this literally, every single station, every show on every station that broadcasted the, the original. T- uh, TV show in 2019, 2019, well, 2020. Is there possibly any station that I'm or or web service, stream service that I might have missed that I had to that I had to take a look at? Because I can't think of any that I might have missed. Um, wait, ask that last part again. Is there like, what like, streaming service? Okay, he says this is the question. Wait, wait, I want you said what did you say, bro? Okay, I literally looked at every single broadcast station and web share web web, web uh, service that broadcast television shows of of shows that aired in 2020 or 19 going into 2020. What I want to know is there any service station or service that I missed? Because these are the ones that I looked at. I looked at CBS, NBC, mm-hmm. Fox, ABC. Channel 11, TBS, TNT, USA, FX, BT, Sci-Fi, BBC, OWN, HBO, Showtime, Max, Stars, Amazon Prime, Netflix, Apple TV, Disney Plus, Hulu, Peacock, YouTube Premium, HBO Now, HBO Max, BritBox, Shutter, and Showmax. 2B. Tubi? Uh, Pluto TV. Pluto Pluto TV? Yeah, Pluto TV is a... Tubi and Pluto TV are what's called subscription-based um, streaming services. I'm not... I'm sorry. Right. I'm sorry. Ad-based. Excuse me. Ad-based. Ad-based, right. So they're, Ad-based. they're, they're, they're like... Pluto TV and them. Tubi? Tubi? Yeah, Tubi. T-U-B-I. Yeah, Tubi. Is it... T-U-B-I. Okay. Yeah. But beyond those two, any any anybody else that I might have missed? Doesn't seem doesn't sound like it. Maybe uh Crackle. AMC, yeah, Crackle is another Crackle, one that's owned Crackle. by Sony. Crackle's Crackle. by Sony. Yeah. AMC. Yeah, I, I think I did miss AMC. There's not yeah, too AMC. much that can AMC. But beyond the Walking Dead, right? Yeah, yeah, the, the Walking Dead. Uh, they but I look into. Universe. They did the. Um, they also did the uh, 
the Badlands, right? Into Badlands, the Badlands, into the Badlands. Yeah. Into the Badlands. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All, right. All right. So I got yeah, yeah. one more. But, but right, right exactly. now, I have the, the yeah, hot, the, well, well, you know, since since we're. Oh, you were, you were scanning those to find the hottest women on, on, on television? Yeah. And oh, right no, now, yeah. right now, I have. Channel. I got sci-fi. I got sci-fi. I got sci-fi. Yeah, yeah, I got sci-fi. I have. I did sci-fi. Right now, right now, I have a list of eighty-four women that I got narrowed down to either five or ten. Eighty-four <laughs> right now. You do it. You you doing it, boy? I'm after me. Yo, I, I gotta I do, just go I do watch. That, I, I do extensive research, and your girl is on is is in, in my eighty-four. The girl you said from the Flash that would yeah, be. Yeah. Candace Patton, Patton. Candace and also Patton. Da- and also Danielle Nicolette. Mm-hmm. I, I added her to the list, but she's mm-hmm. in there. Um, I just got a bunch of people. I got I got I found people from shows that I never even heard of, but were on a streaming service that I never I never heard of. Like I never heard of some show. Like I'm looking here. Um, this girl I found that's on the show called Blood and Water. I never mm-hmm. heard of that. Uh, this other show called uh, Avenue Five, mm. a show called On, On My Block, uh, <laughs> Social Distance. I heard of that. That's on Netflix. Uh, I think I, that's on Netflix. I didn't hear that one. Yeah, I, I didn't hear. Uh, a show called Hunters. Oh the yeah, that's, that's, the one that, that's on um Amazon, right? Yeah. That's the, with um, this other Al Pacino. Show. Al Pacino's in that show. Yeah, so I think so. I yeah, heard this show called the, the Haunting of Bly Manor. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah. I I didn't like. I didn't like. The, I didn't. I I fell out of. I fell out of love with it after it just it just drug on a little bit too long for me. But that's that's a hot series. That that was really hot for a while. Yeah. That was. I think that was a Netflix yeah, top so ten I'm, for a little bit. Yeah, so I'm I'm serious when I said this. I I went through every single oh, TV show, and you got 84 women. You said 84, right? 84 now. women. You need to now down the. I would go first. Try to get it to 10, and then you can go to five, man. The, uh, there's there's only two people that's and if two in my 10. There's only two people that automatically in my 10, and one of them is Angela Bassett. I don't know what position, but she's she's just automatic. I'm sorry. Yeah, Yo, before, before we go, Jimmy Jimmy Ace asked a question, a very good question. He said, did you ever imagine our lifetime that we would have so many outlets of content, TV shows? And Hell, movies? No. Hell, Hell no. no. Hell no. Good question. Shout out Yo, to and, and could, it, my brother. You know what I'm saying? And, he said we should not top 100. Y'all should, <laughs> y'all should do oh, oh, Your brother 100. said we should do the top 100. You. Heaven, you you want me to give you a hundred different girls? I got eighty four. I could probably put another sixteen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So some, some, yo yo hey n- number eighty five, Shari Champion from ESPN. I mean, it's not a TV show, but Lord, Shari uh, Champion, Shari Champion from ESPN. Yeah. Like Lord, like oh, she's fine. Yeah, she, she is she, fine. She's fine. She oof. she's on television. <laughs> It's not a you show. She's on television. She's on television. Thank God, she's on television. Hey, hey. But anyway, now, 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 see, now, now, see. Wait, wait, wait. That's an interesting question. You said she's not on the show, but she's on television. But she is on Sports Center. Sports Center is a show. It is a show. It is a show. God's <laughs> like, it is a show. <laughs> it is. A, I, I'm. I'm just like oh, asking. Uh, I'm, just, I'm, rude. I'm just asking. It is a show, right? Sports, there's a, sports there's a, there's a, if, we, if you're gonna put in sports cast, there's a few hot ones. The, the girl from uh, the, that was on oh, first take, okay. she bad. The one that's married to Jalen Rose, uh, I forget her name. Um, <laughs> oh, yes, yes, she is. Clark, Clark said, I got yes, Joy Taylor, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a Joy Taylor. <laughs> I, I got Joy Taylor, <laughs> yeah, bro. That's too, I mean, there's a there's some hot. There's a beautiful uh, sportscasters out there, yes, especially, are. Now, especially now. There's a lot of them. You know, Carrie Champion's always been one of my favorites. Um, you know, there's a, there's a few of them, though. But the one that's uh, – I forget her name. Her name is uh, – I can't think of her name right now. But the one who's the moderator 
for first take who's married to Jalen Rose. Uh, I can't think of her name right now, but she, she yeah, she, yeah, she replaced Carrie Champion actually because Carrie Champion used to be the moderator for first take. You know what I mean, and now she's there and she bad, but anyway, let's go. We gotta go. Wait, a minute, what's um, the girl's name? It's uh, it, it's Molly, uh, Molly, Molly, yeah, Molly, Mo yeah. Molly, Molly Quarren Rose. Yeah, yep. that's her. She's married to Jalen Rose, Mo Molly Quarren Rose. Now, yeah, yeah, boy, Jalen bagged that up ASAP. Yeah. <laughs> half Jalen bagged that ASAP. Half he was not having. He was not having. He was not letting that one slip away. Like I, ain't, I can't be, I can't be having her, I can't be having her walking around free without a ring on it. Put it, I'm putting a ring on. I'm putting two rings yeah, put on. Ring, I'm putting a ring on it. Then I'm popping a baby. I'm putting two rings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, yep, yeah. That's that's, and, that's uh, the only other thing I'm going to add, guys, is next week. Uh, next week, uh, the other thing we should add is to go into the top 17 movies that that that's going to be released on HBO Max. Okay. That's that's a good that's a good idea. We'll we'll spend we'll we'll come in with this. We'll finish off the uh the verses. That should be. We'll go right through it at the top, top of the show. We'll right. we'll 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 spend the rest of the show on those those movies. We'll go into it and and say what what are we looking forward to for these movies coming in twenty twenty one. Out of all of them, which ones do you want to see the most? Which ones you want? We already know Wonder Woman. We're going to see. No, um, we're going to see that. That, know, don't, that don't count. That's going to count. count. Yeah, it's not coming in 2021, but there's a lot of other ones that's coming. You know, Dune, yeah, you got Mortal Kombat, you Dune. Got Dune, you got. Uh, I didn't even yeah. know there was another Mortal Kombat even coming until they yeah, said that. I was like, got the Matrix, you know, uh, the many like Saints of Newer. Yeah, the um, Saints of Newer. That's Godzilla the one versus Kong. Yeah, that's the pre. And you, oh, did you hear that? Did you catch what Tony? Uh, I'm sorry, AJ. Did you catch what AJ said about um? Uh, Netflix trying to buy that film? Did you hear? Yeah, that? yeah, 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 yeah. That that was that that, that was a yeah, big story it. last week. Uh, in the beginning, <laughs> in the beginning, uh, last 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 that week, was... last week on uh, Thursday, last week Wednesday or Thursday, that was uh, that was a big. Actually, I was I was calling you about that, and we didn't we didn't get connected. I you uh, whatever, but last uh, I think it was last Thursday or last Wednesday that, that story was up, and Warner Brothers was like, Nah, B. <laughs> Nah, B, that's going. We we taking that. We put that right onto our streaming service. Yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy Hayes is crazy. He's a good idea, Kev. Next week we announce that Denzel is the winner <laughs> <laughs> and other stuff. To it. <laughs> yeah, I really want to get that. This you're not even gonna get to get the chance. I mean, y'all yeah, yeah, already count on T Hank, T Hank, Tom Hanks. I like, know, but he's, a, he's ahead 12 8. So all he has to do is match punch for punch, and he wins. He, he's got a, he's got a four, what, a four, a four movie cushion, right? That's true. So he, all he got to do is, is match punch for punch, well, it's just going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Listen. Listen, Ralph. And we know it's the, Ralph. We we now know it's the setup because he left all the heavy movies for the back end. I did, yeah, Kev, you. I'm gonna kill you, man. Stop it. Stop it. I did it. go go on IMDb yourself. I did it in order of release. I did not move nothing to nothing. So whatever fell in the first twenty films fell in the first twenty films. Yeah, okay. if you say so. Like, go look for yourself. Go with yourself. <laughs> so, no, Kev, Kev, this, this, Kev, this, this time I gotta go. I gotta believe West was doing this. This time, this time is not said because it's a part two. If it was just a part one, then maybe. But it's two parts, so I, I'm, I'm tend to believe that's, that's what he's doing. Whole, that's, that's I'm, I'm trying to get the part one was to make it look like yeah, Hanks got it. No, <laughs> Hanks about the, Hanks no, about because the I th what hey, I this think is this: if Denzel ends up winning. I think, and I do believe he will win, but I think it's because of the simple fact that Tom Hanks had better films when he was older, you know, yeah, in, in his early, early, early old. in his career. He yeah. had more, he had yeah. more leads where he was the only lead in the film. Yeah, this, this, this. So, and, and, and remember, Denzel also started with a few comedy films in there, but his comedy films weren't better than Tom Hanks' comedy Tom films. films. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, so I just think, but then as they got, as they, as Tom Hanks switched and they both switched into serious, serious films, 
And as it goes on, Denzel Washington, his second, you know, second run, that's when, you know, like I said, we, there's yeah, things we didn't John, even Yeah, yeah, John, yeah, yeah. He he yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, all yeah. those other ones, John Q, yeah. Bone Collector, Hurricane, Remember the Titans. Yeah, he just went down to South America and became Reese and just yeah. started. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all of, all and then he just went futuristic and became the uh, Book of Eli. And, 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 like, and, and Ralph, I'm going to say this. Don't worry about Tom Hanks. I seen it. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it. I see. I see. You're right. You've seen it. Y'all, yeah. <laughs> all right, man. We out of here. Saw, Thanks, saw, everybody, in the chat room for holding this down. Huh? I saw him talking to the volleyball. I get you. I saw him talking I to the volleyball. Yes, I saw Jimmy Ace. Ace. Yo, Jimmy Ace, of course, uh, everybody, all the heavy hitters, uh, Joseph, of course. Shout out to Heaven Hollywood. Thanks for jumping in. And uh, Jason, uh, I know he's probably logged off because we're way over time. <laughs> but um, thanks for coming through as well. I, I thank for everybody that stuck around, too. I appreciate that. And we'll catch y'all next week. We'll finish this slaughter up. No, I'm joking. <laughs> we'll finish this battle up. Wow. And we'll, <laughs> that's messed up. Uh, and uh, we'll go from there. We'll talk about those Just other movies. I know, right? Yeah. All right, peace, y'all. Y'all have a good night. Good night.